Hello, and chat, welcome to something a little bit different. Hi guys, sorry for the late start, I said half, four, and then I got sidetracked, and you'll see why, you'll see why actually. I should have kept playing Vermeer today, I just... <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. I'll I'll give you an update to where we are. Chat, you may be like, where's Scarlet Nexus? Or where's whatever the heck we normally do on Sundays. And today, <laughs> well... I want to do something a, different, a bit different. We haven't done a one-off in a while. And we're coming up close to the Christmas season. Or well, we are in the Christmas season. But we're coming up close to Christmas. And um, I didn't want to start a new playthrough. So you know I know normally alternate my playthroughs. I'm going to turn my webcam on. Hi. Hello. I'm here. Um, I'm not in anything spacey. <laughs> I promise. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Because, um, uh, I also, please let me know if the, like, game audio is too loud. This main menu is, like, incredibly loud. I'm going to swap over to Mass Effect 1 while I'm talking about this. Okay. Okay, the game's loaded. Okay. So, yeah, I wanted to try a little bit, something a little smidge, a smidge a little different today. Um, and, um, I'm currently playing through Mass Effect. Some of you guys who've been watching my playthroughs, or seeing my streams over the past couple of weeks says like off stream this is kind of what i've been playing like i don't know why i just felt like i watched like some of frozen balls when the legendary collection came out also yeah i am playing the legendary collection but yeah as he was playing through um mass effect well pretty much the entire um game series apart from andromeda actually no he did i think he played andromeda just before he replayed one two and three and um yeah, I was I was craving it for a while, but I was like, I, I kind of want to, I could play it on PC. Like, I could buy it on PC and play it, and it'd be immaculate. I could run it at 60, and, and it'd be great. But I first experienced Mass Effect 3 through the 360, which I'll talk about a bit more during, or at least what I remember as we play a bit today. But yeah, um, and I really wanted to just kind of sit and relax and play like I originally did back on... um. Back on the PC version, uh, sorry, not the PC, back on the 360 version, and just sit and, like, relax and chill and play on a sofa or play on a bed or whatever, like, the original way I used to play it. So, I looked at it and I was like, ah, uh, PS4 version looks fine, it doesn't, it runs at 30, that's fine, it looks a lot better, and it, and especially Mass Effect 1, like, so much better, it runs better, okay. And then I saw the PS5 version, or the PS5 upgrades, because this does have specific... It is a PS4 backwards compatibility game that also runs with a... Almost like a PS5 patch, so to speak. Um, similar to uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands, which also does the same. Uh, so I was like, I'll just wait. Wait until I get a PS5, play on PS5, and I'll be super slick, super smooth, and I'll probably enjoy it more. And I kind of have. It's It's been really... I think I've only seen the odd one or two frame dips uh playing in the uh frame rate mode i i think i'm playing in the frame rate mode but yeah um and yeah it's been really nice and i've been really enjoying it again and it's been so long since i played uh mass effect um so i've been loving it and uh yeah i was like i don't i, I want to play scarlet nexus kind of today but i was like oh, i've done so much of it lately um and i didn't get a chance to do it on thursday which i really wanted to to be honest uh, cause I was really ill. I'm still kind of ill. I'm recovering a little bit. I'm not too bad now. I'm a little bit better. Um, and it'll get, yeah, I'll be, I'll be a bit, I'll probably be sorted in the next few days. And we'll go back to normal. Uh, but also, uh, as I normally alternate weekly between my game playthroughs, so we go Scarlet Nexus and then we go play another game, which we recently finished Ratchet and Clank, so I need something else. And that was going to be Kena Bridge of Spirits. Um, but unfortunately with Kena, is Kina, I would have to sit and focus on it, and we're so close to Christmas, so uh, I'm looking at my times and stuff at work, and I'm like, ah, oh, crap, I might be able to fit in a, a stream either Tuesday or Wednesday, and then it's gonna be, like, close to Christmas, and I don't really want to stream Christmas Eve. I don't think anyone wants to stream Christmas Eve. I also don't think people will be watching streams Christmas Eve, um, because they'll be doing maybe stuff with their families and stuff. So I decided to not stream. I'm gonna probably not stream Christmas Eve. Uh, I'll update my Twitch schedule in the Discord as well. Um, so that'll be here. 
And I also didn't want to start a new playthrough of the guy of the vote playthrough that you guys have done, which is still live, which I'm going to put up now. So if you guys are new, or you've got to follow, or you've followed us on the Discord, um, you can drop a vote into there for what I play next. Uh, I'll check again halfway through the stream, see where it's at, because it's quite high now. We've had like a fair amount of votes by a fair amount of people. And yeah, there's two games I think tied for top place right now, which I believe is Crash Bandicoot 4 and Deathloop. So that's interesting. I didn't want to start those games to have a Christmas break and then come back. Like, that would have been awkward if I'd have started it and then we didn't see the game for like a week and a half. And you guys don't want that. I don't really want that. Um, so I'm not doing it. So what we're going to do is, and my plan is to play some Mass Effect today. Maybe beat Mass Effect 1 because I'm actually really close to beating it. Like I said, I was playing it off stream and not on stream. And seeing, I can talk a little bit about Mass Effect and that'll be a lot of fun. There's also a lot of voice dialogue and since my throat is a bit rough, um, it'll be um it'll be good so i won't have to read anything which will be somewhat nice uh and i'm just kind of playing it casually i'm not going in depth i'm not doing full paragon full renegade i'm kind of just doing it how i want to most of it is paragon though um and yeah we'll just see i'm gonna beat saren hopefully and talk a little bit about my mass effect experiences and if we're that close to the end which i know i'm close to the end we'll push on and maybe start two I want to start to and then start playing it off stream and if you guys have enjoyed it maybe I'll do a bit more of this but I'm kind of using it as a taste tester since I normally do that on Sundays um so yeah that's that's what we're going to be doing today sorry I know I talked for a while uh and yeah my apologies for my absence on Thursday I was oh I felt like shit <laughs> I felt like absolute shit I couldn't stream like I did I barely went to work yet. like yesterday was awful I had a really bad shift at work um just because I was like all bunged up nose and stuff if i sniff i'm sorry please let me know and the first thing i'm going to say is thank you guys for joining if you're lurking if you could do us a massive favor while we start up the game please let me know the audio mass effect audio mixing is quite loud in terms of its music uh especially its sound effects in this version uh so please let me know if it's too loud or too quiet i know it's quite quiet on the menu now but uh we'll move over there we go also, the reason I'm a little bit late as well, chat, is... Turn it up here. <laughs> the reason I'm a little bit late as well is I kind of put way too much effort into the stream and there's some unique alerts in there today. Like, I'm not joking. I'm going to try my best to not cough on the mic, so if you see me mute, um, that might happen a couple of times during today's stream. But I, it's, it's, it's better than it was. All right, okay, I'm unmuted for myself so I can hear the game. So let's have a look. Yeah, I'm like 24, yeah, 24 hours in. Uh, I li yeah, I literally just did Vermeer before actually hitting go live today. Um, so that's where we're at. Nightbot, you don't have to ping the Discord again. <laughs> there we go. Off Nightbot. Right, so yeah, I'll be starting from an auto save and uh, giving you guys a little bit of a recap as to where I am. Like I said, it's a bit weird because it's a story focused game I've been playing off stream and now I'm just doing a one off. Odd. Quarantine. We've got a 2319. Oh, what the fuck? No, I'm not that bad. I've actually done it. So yeah, actually, guys, I actually did a, I did do a COVID test. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't have COVID. So that's good. Thank fuck. Because that was incredibly scary. Now, it's not just incredibly scary that I'd have COVID. It's more the fact it's really close to Christmas. And that would have mean my Christmas is pretty much fucked if I get COVID. I don't really want that. And that's the scary thing about working in retail in this day and age. With the troubles. Oh, this feels really weird. Because, like, I was like, I threw up um, Mass Effect when, like, uh, in one of the polls. I think it was in the last uh, community vote poll for playthroughs. And no one voted for Mass Effect. And I was like, well, I guess I'll put that off stream. That's fine. I don't mind playing it off stream. And now I'm playing it on stream feels really weird. Because I haven't played Mass Effect on stream. This again, it's, it's, not, it's another one of those, like, oh, shit. This is a new thing for me to do. 
It's a different type of story focus game. But like I said, uh, let me know how the audio is, guys. Tenex, how's the audio? How's Elsa? How's you, buddy? How are you, Tenex? I'm sorry, Tenex. We're taking a little bit of a break from Scarlet Nexus. That's not because I'm not enjoying it. It's because I wanted to swap playthroughs. Uh, and I, I did want to change up the game a bit on stream. But um, for pretty much variety's sake. And uh, some days I normally do that anyway. And... Uh, yeah, I plan to just play Scarlet Nexus until I have a Christmas break. So, on Tuesday or Wednesday, I haven't decided. I'll work on Tuesday, but I don't work on Wednesday. Um, so, pretty much on Wednesday, I'm going to have one more Scarlet Nexus stream before we probably break for Christmas. Uh, so, yeah, but I was thinking of doing that. Um, so, yeah, guys, I finished Vermeer, so I'm quite far. I'm very, very far in. Like I said, I plan to beat it today, hopefully. Um... So I gotta go talk to all my team, see how they feel. I've done a couple. Of, I've done pretty much most of the loyalty missions, but they're a little bit hidden in this game in comparison to some of the ones in Mass Effect Two and Three, which are a little bit more obvious. Um, like I said, not a master at Mass Effect. I casually played the game back in twenty two thousand, well, like two thousand and seven or eight. I think it was eight when I had a three sixty, and that's the last time I played Mass Effect One. So. I don't remember that much of Mass Effect 1. I'm actually surprised how much I've remembered playing through the game. Hey, Gareth. Commander, I wanted to thank you. Oh, fantastic. I just ballpark the sound effects because I didn't have time to test this. I haven't even tested this game like through the capture card at all. I fi uh, I'm finally on leave for Christmas till New Year, and it's great. Uh, I've got like a pretty good uh, lead up to Christmas. My next, yeah, it's next week. Oh, my shifts are fucking awful. So next week's going to be an absolute shit show for streams, straight up. What for, Garrus? Why are you thanking me, Garrus? Forever. Also, yeah, I'm playing Femchat. <laughs> I didn't even say that. You. Then he may be part of your team. That's who I originally played. I've learned a lot. I didn't customize as much as this though. Customize this one a lot more. About sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. Yeah. And I've been thinking about Dr. Salium too. Oh yeah. I convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. I realized it yeah, wasn't because of what he did Garris to me. not just shoot him. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped. But then he watch, just attacked us like and we shot him. In. I think I, I threw him. Yeah. Good shit, Garris. Yeah, I think I threw him. I think I used my bio. Oh yeah, I'm also playing Vanguard because I just played basic bitch soldier and went. I should probably do something different for this game. Vanguard's been really good. I also know they did a lot of legendary edition tweaks, so that's different. I also didn't know what to stream under. I don't know if Legendary Collection is a separate entity. I might have, sh I might have done. I should have done that. Shepard looks like she's seen some shit. I'm pretty happy with how sh how Femship looks. The only problem is I feel like my fa the facial structure is a little bit off, and I feel like my lips are massive, and that was bothering me. It still is a little bit. Words mean nothing until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you gonna do about it? That's really it? blunt. Well, I'm going back to CSEC. I think I can make a difference there. I'll also reapply for Spectre training, but I'll do it right. I won't compromise myself to get there. Thank you, if good boy, Gar to Garris. can't trust me, then I don't deserve to be the one protecting them. Yeah, that's great, Garrus. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. Aww. I will. You'll also... You'll also uh, notice that... Um, the first playthrough tab is not on there because I have played through Mass Effect 1, 2, and never finished 3. Now, I, I got sidetracked because I bought Mass Effect 3 really late because uh, of money reasons, I believe, probably, as a kid. And um, I did fin I never finished it. And I got. And, and it's not to say it's bad. I know the ending. Yeah, there's issues. But, like, I never actually finished it. And it wasn't because it's bad. I think I just got sidetracked by other games at the time. There was a lot of games coming out. Oh, wait, what the fuck? What are you doing here? I guess these guys stay here after, um, uh, Vermeer? Hey, Rex. Oh, yeah, Rex survived. Commander, which didn't happen in my did original what you version. Had to do. I respect your choice. Originally, Rex got shot by Ashley <laughs> in my original version. I felt bad. 
I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget. It was really weird to keep him alive. Just make sure it was worth it. I was a lot younger when I Sarah played Mass Effect 1. I was still in high school. He's done. Great. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think that's it. So long, Rex. Sure. <laughs> I knew he was... God damn it. Um, also, you probably noticed we finished Fermi and Ashley's alive. Now, I was really, really tempted to pick Caden and keep Caden alive. But since I never beat Mass Effect 3, I've kept her alive because that's my original playthrough. And that's it. That's the only reason I've done it right now. Because I wanted to actually finish the trilogy. Because I didn't last time. Commander? Um, oh, I could talk about Caden. Uh, uh, okay. About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. Yeah, don't. Just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. Okay. She's not being as bad. Because earlier she was a bit pissy that we picked her over him, but I feel like most people will be in that. Caden's much nicer. I mean, yeah. Oh, it was really difficult. Williams, because listen to me. I didn't know if I'm I wanted to change or not. I made the call, not Cause... you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. Yeah. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me, uh, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses in Malaysia? Oh yeah, I'm the war hero, aren't I? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember him, and I'll do better for him. Yeah. Oh, I oh see, at least she took that little stride. Nice advice, Skipper. See, that's all right. I didn't even realize that she's a massive racist until I replayed this. I didn't even, my brain just didn't click when I was younger. I was like, holy shit, when I went back to this game. But there is a bit of, I wouldn't say justification, but there's reason, at least. Dismissed, Chief. I just think that yeah. sounds so weirdly suggestive. It's annoying because Kaden is a lot nicer. Ah, fuck. You're going to make me feel bad. But I, I, I did want to see how my original one played out. I also want to know if Ashley actually changes her character in Mass Effect 3. I want to know if she becomes not an asshole or less of an asshole. Looking for supplies? Assume you played all of them, Tenux, to completion. Maybe barring apart from my Andromeda. Looking for supplies? Oh, Let's yeah, see what you right. got. You bet. Commander. I bought shit tons of licenses, so I don't know what you have now. I have really good gear, by the way, chat. At least I feel like I do. I also never beat the game on normal. So, this is my first time beating it on normal. I played it on casual because I was a baby. Also, the early game of this game is a lot harder. The moment you get better... Well, I don't know about this version. It's probably this version is a lot easier. But yeah, early game in the first game, especially like the fresher mall, the first time you run into the fresher mall, you get absolutely wrecked in one shot on normal. Uh, don't think I need any of this. Definitely don't need it because I've got Colossus light armor. And it's really good. It also looks sick. It's the one thing I do like about Mass Effect 1. I know like you can kind of dodge all this like messy inventory management. By playing two, but I, I, you know, some, some about it. There's some about it that I kind of like. That's just a better gun. I should probably do that, shouldn't I? Chat as well. I've not, I've not, I've taken. I think I've taken the backseating tab off. I hope I have, because if you guys know, hey, shit, go buy this thing. It's super good. I'll be like, oh shit, okay, I'll go get it. But I don't remember, so. Nor do I maybe know back in the nor did i know maybe back in the day i played this before i had internet i remember this was like my third 360 game i ever bought um because my first were halo 3 uh, john Woo stranglehold and then i bought this like a month after and 
yeah, I didn't have internet for my 360 or anything. So I was like completely into another side. I didn't know what was like really good or like what I should be doing or yeah, it was weird. I, I have an original strategy guide for Mass Effect 1 actually. I don't think I ever got stuck, but I think I remember picking it up for like three or four pounds and it came with the art book like in a pack. So I did that and that was a lot of fun. And it's really nice how old it is. I know there's probably like got, uh, art books out for Mass Effect 2. I'm selling all my dupes really here. You can probably tell that's what I'm doing. I wish you could flick through this menu faster. It's, it's like the only thing I wish. I don't care about having a load of stuff. It's more like I just... Oh god, it takes so long. Should have done all this before stream, shouldn't I? Sell, sell, sell. You just get so much money. How many of these did I pick up? My god. No wonder my game was like, yo. You got like no space left. Which is also funny because I heard that they increased the like items you can hold in this version. Very funny. I don't know all the changes. I, I need to go back and like look at like uh, differences between the original version. I'm really happy with this version though. It's really nice. One of the good, you know, like good effort remasters for sure. I don't need any of these, do I? Should probably just go through and sell a lot of them. Well, I can buy the good sniper now. Yeah, and it doesn't even like really affect me wise. All right, let's have a look at my gear. Oh, I can't even wait. I can use snipers. Oh, there. Uh, it's just an improvement. Move it over. What can I put with that? Heat absorption, damage to synthetics. I don't know what people put with this. I'm just going to kind of slap it on and see what happens. Yeah, why not? <laughs> There's not too much thought put into it, chat, I'll be honest. What's that? Can I get a better version of that? Kinetic exoskeleton. Do I have like a... Is that a better one? I can put two armor upgrades in there, which I didn't notice. Damage protection. Hardening. Physics threshold. Oh, I don't even know what that is. Splash damage. I think I could just put energized plating on. That seems like it's pretty decent. Okay. I don't need to do too much inventory management here. I feel like I'm OP anyway, honestly. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? Okay. I should go. Tally doesn't have anything extra for me by the sounds of it. I will I will remember the the funniest thing about this and it's one thing I remember them deliberately showing off in trailers and stuff when the legendary collection was coming out was the fact that they uh, they fixed the loading times on all the um, lifts which is really funny and it's super noticeable as well to the point of if it loads quick enough you can skip it which is the only problem with that is you miss dialogue in some lifts, and that sucks. And I'm only playing this off a base, uh, off a little portable HDD that's attached to my PS5, and it runs really good. It loads shockingly quick. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Oh, also chat, yeah, I'm a massive S-word. I'm not going to say it on stream. Uh, but yeah, we've gone for Liara this time. Uh, originally, when I played Mass Effect 1, I went for nobody because I was a little child. Didn't really, well, I don't know. How old was I? 2008? I was a teen, and I didn't know you could romance anyone in this game. I just didn't realize it. So I romanced no one. Till Mass Effect 2. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. And I went a basic bitch, as you've probably noticed, because I've gone with Liara. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. Well, yeah, because he's kind of possessed. 
Ish. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. He's possessed Part by of him Sovereign, senses yeah. his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign. But he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Uh. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. Yeah. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. <laughs> Actually glad someone says that, because I realize Mass Effect 1 is very like that. Like, it, there's less, I guess, like... I feel like character development is a lot quicker in Mass Effect 1 than it is in, like, 2 and 3, but I could be wrong. Like, I might be misremembering things. It has been years, honestly. But it is, it's, it's nice to, like, experience some of this again. I've, I'm surprised how well the, go the game has held up. Despite it being a game from 2000. Like, obviously, graphical issues and stuff. But I know, like, graphical things aside. I'm, I'm still really happy with, like, the game's, like, pacing and stuff. And it still makes me, it gives me that, like, oh, it was, like, this transition between KOTOR and, you know, kind of what it is now. I still really like it. But it has been neat. Bear with me, chat. There we go. I remember that silliness. What is funny about you saying that is now to romance everyone, including aliens, was pushed. So, yeah, I didn't know that. I picked up Mass Effect 1. Uh, I think my original copy is behind me, actually. Yeah, it is. I picked up Mass Effect 1. Um, this is my original copy from, like, 2007 or 8. I can't remember when I picked it up. I don't know if my old receipt is in here, actually. It might be. I normally put my receipts behind my manuals. Oh, it was from game. I can tell because of the sticker. <laughs> it's funny. But, yeah, my original copy... I just bought it solely on, um, I think it was my cousin. My cousin, I, I wanted some good 360 games that weren't just like Halo. And obviously this was console, this was at the time only on the 360. So uh, my cousin said, yeah, that's a pretty good game. And I think I got it for like a tenner back in the day. And um, yeah, I, I didn't know anything about it. I went in, I, I don't even think I realised it was from the same, I didn't even realise it was Bioware, and I think the only time I dabbled into a Bioware game, which was made by Obsidian anyway, was um, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. So, yeah, that's, it was, I didn't know about the romancing aliens bullshit, like, I didn't know about that. I don't think I can talk much about I should go. Goodbye, anything Shepard. else. Oh, wait, hold on. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Oh, no. How did you end up serving? I'm, I'm, no, no, no. humanity needs the alive. I should go. Don't Goodbye. need to talk to you, Chakras. I thought you were going to talk a bit more about Liara, but I guess not. This version has been a dream to play, though. Right, so we need to head back to the Citadel, because we got to inform the Citadel about Saren's attack on the Citadel. I need to do that. I'm excited to get to two. I forwarded the mission update really to the good. Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those it. reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I also realize you get... Uh, there's a lot less talking with Joker in this game than there is in 2. I swear there's way more in Mass Effect 2. Maybe I've missed some dialogue bits. No, no. There's a lot of stuff you can miss. I'll always remember. Oh. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. Finally. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. 
Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. What about Elos? How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Oh, Ilos, Ilos is only sorry. accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale oh. war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Oh, good. Send me after him. What about the conduit? What about the Reapers? Uh, uh, I don't think it matters. I think I can do it off-rig. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. Yeah, because I've got the stealth. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. <laughs> I wouldn't call that discreet. That's true. Your style served you well in but the also Traverse, Commander. It. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Do we? Secrecy Just like you had everything else? Weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Is it? I don't think it is. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then uh, only but I also visions. understand this point. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Like, I, I, I get that. I do get that. But I think... Yeah, it, it's it's a weird one. Like, they're not all stupid, but... Yeah. Okay, that's that's it. <laughs> if Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have but also to go this. to Ilos. If we just stand Ambassador around Dina, and do I get off. the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. Oh, God. You Shut bastard! Up. You're selling us out! <laughs> it's just politics. Wait, is that? Oh, I guess Ashley's here. You've done your here? job, Who's now let us? me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Oh. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. Oh. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. My this no drive. longer concerns you. The Council can handle <laughs> this with my help, of course. I think it was loading in the voice line. I've noticed that with uh, this version. I think it, I think it's because uh, I'm running it off a little portable hard drive. Apart from that, it's been pretty immaculate. Well, I look pretty bummed out. Commander. Shepherd. Wait, what? What I was that animation? They did this to you. <laughs> I am so sorry. They screwed me. Now I have to apologize. It's not, your fault. it's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The council owes you everything, everything. Instead, kind of they stripped you moment. of your command and ground the Normandy. Oh yeah. Uh, there are bigger issues. These are all kind of the same thing. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> well, we tried. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You oh, will just Liara give up and the doom the entire the galaxy talk. to extinction? We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. <laughs> I believe in you, Shepard. Whoever's the way back every in. Every step of the way. Thanks. Thanks, girl. I wonder. Who oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's really funny. But, okay, so this is dependent on who clo who you're close to. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. <laughs> Got a message from Captain Anderson. Nope, not yet. Caught block my Joker. Uh, were you listening in? Are you spying on us, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet That's him at Flux. Bullshit. <laughs> at club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. Uh, that's cute. Uh, um, I guess we're... Yep. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, ignore that. Ignore that black spot. Sorry, Caden. Rip. You did well, buddy. Okay. Uh, what am I going to take with me? 
See second Liara? Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. I don't really care. I've, I've pretty much got everyone kitted out right now. Equalizing oh, yeah, interior pressure armor. with exterior atmosphere. What the fuck? Mechanic? Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo press. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked oh, okay. down. Okay. Ambassador Udina gave the order. I was gonna say, what the fuck is that random mechanic doing there? Right. Okay, well, time to go. Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard, oh God. the first human specter. Unfortunately, Shepard refused I did. to answer I did questions, refuse, raising concerns regarding the specter's commitment to humanity. Yeah, because they were twisting we'll my words. We'll have exclusive footage later today. Yeah, I told her to fuck off, basically. Fuck the press. It's all right, I get to punch him in two. Can't wait for that bit. Best renegade action in the in the entire series is punching that bitch. Oh shit, Garrus has not leveled up. Oh no. Uh, I might just dump points into sniper rifles. Wait, what's that? Advanced overkill. Uh, electronics. Encryption. Agent up. Yeah, that's fine for now. I'll decide later. Race against time. Sovereign. Meet with Anderson. Captain Anderson is waiting for you at the wards at Flux. Okay, I don't think I need to buy anything, but I'll quickly check the C-Sex stores. Like I said, if anyone remembers a particular store that has, like, one of the best weapons that I need Hello, to buy, Commander. please let me know, because I, I don't remember. Show me what you got. Yeah, let me... Oh, wow, that shotgun's really good. A prototype shotgun only available to Spectres. Okay, maybe it's this store I need to be looking at. Oh, this seems crazy. These seem crazy good. These seem like no-brainers. Wow, okay. Yeah, maybe I need to buy these. I like the pistol a lot, to be honest. Uh, shields are a bit better, but not by much. My Colossus armor is pretty much going to take me to end game, I think. Shotgun. Uh, that shotgun does way more damage. The Armageddon's fun because it fires rate. Its fire rate is incredibly good, but it seems weak, even for like an end game kind of shotgun. Let me swap to those now. Switch. Switch. Oh, it's also they look like Hello, the guns you get in two as well. Show me what you've Probably got. Probably use the same models. What else have we got? Wait, I switch which the pistol then right. I don't think anything else is worth getting. I mean, I could kit those guys out, but I feel like I don't need to. Their gear's already pretty decent. I think, that was, I, think I got the right pistol. Oh, well. Forgetting what I bought, like, five seconds ago. Right, I need to head to Flux. Awards. There we go. This, I always remember doing this so much. I get so lost in Mass Effect 1's, like, Citadel. I used to, originally. I don't anymore. But, like, back in the day when I was a kid, I, I, I did get lost. And having the increased loading times on those is a godsend. Uh, where's Anderson? Did I walk right past him? I did. No way. Soldier, what I've got a major you? situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. Uh, what kind of situation oh, are we talking oh, about? Oh, it might be a side quest. Of it? course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. Okay. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. I mean, my big session. Riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. <laughs> You're a pencil pusher. 
Yeah. Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. I need you to Put buy a bullshit. mental stimulant for me. That sounds it's sketch legal, as fuck. Restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. You're an addict. Yeah. What exactly is this stimulant? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused. And oh. It keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. Yeah. If you know the monthly limits, why'd you go over them? The it's negotiations like were supposed to be well. last week, but the Salarians stalled it, probably deliberately. All the side missions around here are like, help I'll this asshole. Like, My oh. assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. Drug he wants to show to them we're drugs. reasonable. No I race will respect us to, until we yeah. show them who's in charge. I thought he wanted to get That's what it took with the Turians. Him. Yeah, forget my assistant. I'm leaving. Getting you your drug fix is not high on my list of priorities, Keeler. Yeah, get fucked. What century are you living in? <laughs> Do you think those Solarians hesitate before amping themselves up? If you won't help me keep humanity strong, I'll find somebody else who will. <laughs> okay. What an ass. Oh, there's Anderson. Do I ignore that? Ignore those reflections at 30 f Oh, God, no. Don't look I'm at those. I'm glad you came, son. I heard what happened. Regina sold me out. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was okay. no way to get a message to you before you died. Been a while. I know you're pissed off right now. I'm pretty pissed off. But you can't off. give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using it. the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems. Well, but if we override the ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop it. Thank you for trusting in me, Anderson. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy is your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow ah, you to the ends of the galaxy. <laughs> we both know that. He'll fix everything by punching people. He will. Thanks, Keith. I won't forget. You mean just like captain. he does in Saints Row? I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed <laughs> guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. The garrison is okay sure with all this. Just you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. Ready over options? There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He will not just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be here. If <laughs> he is, I'll just have to think of something. The ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. I like how my We don't have a lot uh, of options. Uh, I break into the ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Uh... Yeah, I didn't expect. I didn't expect this. Uh, Citadel control feels like. Uh, it feels like you're gonna piss off more than just Udina. Okay. You'll have a better chance if you go after the ambassador's computer. I feel like that's. I was better. hoping you'd say that. The amb ambassador has made what? this person. Hard drive, please. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Yeah, uh, no, no, actually not yet. No, wait, hold on. Yeah, fuck it. I've, I've got the gear. I've got good gear, right? Because this is going to pretty much set me into the rest of the game, isn't it? I'll say not yet. I still have and some things say. to take care of. Come see me when you're ready to do this. Yep. I'll be right that, That's the game going, hey. Hey, I hope you're fucking ready. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> you ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Yeah, there Let's we go. do it. Okay, I'll now. take care of the lockdown. That was a weird camera You get down angle. to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. It's not like they got cameras in this future, is it? Actually, to be fair, Flux is dodgy as shit. They probably don't. They probably won't care. 
Wait, where do I have to go? Oh, I just have to go to Elos. I don't have to just head to C sec. That was easy. It's a bit weird. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. So yeah, Elos. I remember this being a quite biggish section of the game. This is gonna take like like I said today, chat. I feel like the stream is gonna be. A bit of Mass Effect 1, like, and it's ending, and then a bit of 2. But it might take 4 hours, I don't know. I'm planning to stream as normal, probably 3, 4 hours, depends on my throat as well. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan was, group had oh, contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later oh, yeah, sued for a return right? of investment <laughs> money when the study produced no viable results. Oh yeah, I got that Solarian arrested. <laughs> that was good. I'm excited to get back to two though. Uh, though I've actually probably enjoyed one more than I thought I would, honestly. Stand by, shore party. Nope, Decontamination in progress. I hope two runs just as good as this. What? Oh, Anderson, just gonna storm in. What are you doing here? I didn't send. <laughs> Wait, what? That wasn't tactful. Wait, Tenox, is that what you meant? Is that what you meant? He's just gonna go in and punch him. Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. I didn't Joker. think that's now. what he did. That's dumb. Well, yeah. You're not wrong, he did deserve it. But I forgot that's exactly what Anderson did. I'll just go in and if he's there, I'll fucking punch him. <laughs> I felt like that was a lot safer though. <laughs> that's so silly. One felt like a crazy extreme, and that felt like, well, a cakewalk, really. Alright, the Pangaea Expanse or something? Pangaea Exp Expanse? Guess that's where we're off. I'm pretty much there. Oh, wait, really? So it's like the same animation? <laughs> Helos! This is a story looking area, look at it. Love an inch of the Proteus Helos was a bird of world dotted with spires and arches and magnificent Even casual observation shows is no longer the case. Helos has been devastated by means of mermaids. Uh, entire surface has changed for the worse. Ignited by lightning strikes. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense now. Oh! Shepard, may I speak with you? Jesus, did I stream the good bit? <laughs> this is the good bit? I never had any scene like this, and I didn't romance anyone in my first playthrough. Uh. I'm busy. <laughs> I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too. Oh, God. And what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. Okay. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. Oh shit, I did. Oh, I forgot my keys. What the fuck is this music? Why is it so ominous? Hey Jolly. I I'm feeling better. Oh Jolly. This, 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 this mod chat messaging me when uh, I was like really ill saying I hope I, I feel better like sending me PMs thanks Jolly I was really I felt really happy that you did that you didn't have to at all that was very nice that you did I felt a lot better uh, but I feel a little bit better uh, I can at least stream and my throat won't just like give out halfway today that's why I'm doing a bit of a one-off as well we're not going to fail I promise this music's like so Please, tense I am not for looking some reason. for comfort 
Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last moments together. Oh my god, our it got really tense. last chance to show each other how we feel. I um, want this to be special. Wait, now? Really? Now? <laughs> it was tense as shit. That's alright. Don't feel like you have to be here. It's fine. We don't have to do this. I know you're here to Not support. You're sure. Oh. I have never See, been, been really sure kind. of anything in my Oh, life. she's smiling. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies um. and minds <laughs> unite. I can't believe you can go that far and then be like, nah. Yes, exclamation mark. We don't have to fuck unless you want to. No, it's not. It's minds uniting. We are minds uniting, Tenno. There's nothing bad about this. Just tell me what to do. <laughs> Wait, no! That's an awful thing to say. Okay. That was bad. That was a bad bit of like, dialogue. <laughs> I didn't want that. <laughs> oh, um... Uh, I won't violate to US. Um, don't think about it. Oh, don't think about it. Mm, I don't know if this violates to us. <laughs> um, hold on. There we go. I'm fixing it. Problem is being fixed. There was way more buoy than I expected there to be. I was a little bit worried. <laughs> By the goddess. That was not just mine. Incredible, Shepard. <laughs> and now I'm just laughing because it's just funny to me. I can't believe that's the bit I decided to stream on my one-off. I didn't even know that was gonna happen. I didn't even know when it was gonna happen. I didn't even know it happened in one. Uh, I, I did. So are you? You were incredible. Five minutes ETA to the Mew <laughs> relay. Thanks, Joker. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever yeah. happens on I just wanted to say thank you for everything. Oh shit, was that the renegade option? That's funny. I was, I was using myself as the, yeah, I literally, yeah. I literally got mine fucked. <laughs> That's a very different feeling to when I'm, I get mind fucked in um, reading the plot in a Scarlet Nexus. It definitely don't feel like that. <laughs> it definitely don't fucking feel like that, chat. <laughs> That's some bullshit. Uh, Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, do you like me using myself as a sensor shirt? Sure. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. If I knew there was Locked that much booty, I would have. I would have hit Negative myself on better. that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Well, drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop <coughs> like that. The most I can find near Saren yeah, is twenty. Yeah, but Joker's shit hot. Twenty meters? No way but we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing Stop zone. Stop screaming. The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. Big balls. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't. Ah, wait till I can do it. Too, bitch. Joker. I can do it. Yes. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. Oh, shit. Chat. Can we get a repeat? No. That looks no. Chat, are we bringing? Yeah, yeah. Everyone's like, get us on the ship. No. Why can't we get us on the ship? Too close. Suicide. It's like, calm the fuck down. Jesus. I, I like how everyone's shouting, but me. But Commander Shepard. <laughs> like, fucking stupid. All joker for that matter. And he's the one fucking driving. Very silly. Chat, are we bringing to Elos? Do we bring Liara? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Is that like Joker didn't say a fucking thing for ages, and he's the one driving. Yeah, 
Chat, I feel like I should bring Liara. Who would else? Who who else do we want to bring? Chat. I'm gonna let you guys decide. We're bringing. Are we bringing Rex, Garrus, Tally, or Ashley? They don't look like that. They got different armors on. I'm I'm feeling because we're gonna be fighting Geth. I'm feeling Garrus or Tally. Because overcharge real good. And Garrus or Tally in here. Because I don't need another biotic. I always forget sometimes that Rex is a biotic. Which is weird to me. I don't know why he is. Uh. Oh, good guy Garrus though. Uh, fuck it. Yeah, no, I feel like this is a better option. I feel I'm a bit, a bit more varied with this. As much as I love Garrus. Sorry, Garrus. <laughs> yeah. So I have to do it, shut up. Oh yeah, now we're seeing those weird things we saw in the vision. Hey, what's up? Wow, I don't remember this you two, scene. Keep moving inside now. Oh. <laughs> uh, Jolly, I'm assuming you never played Mass Effect as a series. Any Mass Effect game? We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. I will say we are. Saren the found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. Okay. Holy moly, I don't remember this. Oh wait, I do a little bit. Oh, why did I spawn with my? Okay. Didn't need to spawn with my sniper. Right? Oh god, fucking chat, let me know about the sound, because now we're getting into fights. Even playing through the TV, I was like, Jesus, these sound effects are so loud. I have not, should I? Uh, do you like, I guess, third person, well, I guess it would be third person shooter at an um, RPG. With dialogue and stuff. I'm surprised you've not touched them. It de yeah, it depends on your choice of game. I know you play a lot of JRPGs, so... I think Mass Effect... Whoa, what the fuck? This overheats incredibly fast. Hold on, hold on, I ain't changed that. Not a bit that. Weapon stability. Heat generate. Oh, it's that. That's what's fucking me up. No, I don't want to get rid of that. Weapons force, toxic damage. You don't have to do all this kind of stuff. I'm just doing it because I kind of want to right now. I don't care for toxic damage. Damage to organics. Damage to synthetics. I think that's better, right? Gun firing is very loud. I fucking knew it. I knew it would be. The dialogue's all right, isn't it, though, Tenox? I knew, I knew it'd be an issue on stream. Hopefully. The only problem is, is that changes all the other things. That's still insanely loud, isn't it? It's better, but it's still loud. But I'm too overpowered now. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm, I don't even need cover half the time. I missed the roll. I can lower it a bit more though. Woo! Oh, that still hit me. Oh, I'm out of here. Uh, maybe I should use this. Oh yeah, that's doing chips and damage, that's good. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I'm looking at the Elgato. Every time I shoot, it's like blasting the Elgato sound. Bear with me. That sounds a bit better. That better? God, fighting these on foot, they take a while. Hey, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Oh! Barely cop these up. This they changed as well. Um, because you used to do this quick quick time event thing here. But in Mass Effect 1, like the original game, if you failed that, you ain't doing if it's optional, you ain't opening it. And it and you have to spend uh, Omni Gel, I think, to get it open. Whereas they kind of reverted that in the legendary collection. Now spending Omni Gel is kind of pointless. It's, it's weird. Unless you're very, very bad at quick time events. It, it's it's odd. It's very strange. Is this optional? Where am I going? Maybe I'm supposed to come here later? Jammed. I don't know which bit is optional or not. Ooh, this is a free burst. I'm alright with that. I also didn't realise playing Mass Effect 1 again. So many of these. So many. But yeah, Jolly, if you're still there, yeah, Mass Effect 1 is is kind of old now. But I am playing uh, the Legendary Collection, which released last year, I want to say. Uh, which is a full, like, compilation or full collection of, like, remastered versions of 1, 2, and 3. Uh, and the good thing about 1 especially is they went back and the like AI upscale pretty much all the textures in the game. So it looks really good now. Uh, they patched a couple of like weird bugs and um, I guess like gameplay mechanics. They rebalanced some stuff. I'm really overpowered right now, so you're probably watching me absolutely just nut, just blaze through these guys. But it's also on everything. Oh yeah. Oh, I, yeah, it's it's a bit of a commitment to play these. Not too much, though, I feel. They're not stupidly long. They're all about under 30 hours, I think. You might be able to put more time in if you do, like, 100% stuff. But they're all reasonable length. You can blaze them. I, I've been blasting this a lot more than I thought I would. But yeah, like, like, Mass Effect 1 has a... It's, Mass Effect 1 is pretty good. It's not amazing, especially by today's standard, but it's pretty good. 2 is great. 2 is like such an improvement across the board, I'd feel. Though I will say it does drop a lot more, uh, it drops some of the RPG mechanics. A little bit more action based, which isn't awful because it is, um, it, it almost streamlines some of it, but it, it, it chops the fat, so to speak. It's like chopping the fat on the steak. You can eat it, it's there, but you might not want it. Like all the inventory management. Um, going back to this, I actually really like getting all the gear and loot drops. It is fun. But after a while, you're just getting shit after shit after shit that you just don't need. And then you have to sift through it for 20 minutes or whatever. It's like, yeah, you don't need that. So they did like chop some of that stuff out. But still a really, I think it still just honestly holds up. I'm surprised graphically how much it holds up. Does it want me to go through there? No. What systems is available on? It is available on everything but the Switch. Oh, obviously I don't care, no, if you count phones as that. So it'd be Xbox, PC, and uh, PS4. You can access them on the old consoles, though I do recommend probably just playing the Legendary Collection. Which is, if you look at the camera, this. 
Also, I will say, prepare your hard drive if, you, if you're playing on PS4. I can't remember what you're on, Jolly, or what you normally play on PC. I know you have a Switch, but like, prepare your PS4, because two discs, it's big. Big. I think it's like 108 gig right now, with the patch installed. The patch is really big as well, it's like 17 gig. But to be fair, that is free games. Like, a lot. With, like, re upscaled assets and stuff, and some 4K textures and stuff. Oh. I don't know what the best way to play them. Um, you'd have to ask if you were like, hey, I want to play it on this. I, I know what's the best way to play it. Roughly. PC's an obvious choice, but like, if you're going for a console, let me know. If you were to ever touch it on console, I watch a lot. I watch too much digital foundry chat. <laughs> I do. On Xbox One, yeah. Uh, base Xbox One. I don't know what they. I have to remember what they did on Xbox One. Because the reason I I did wait to play Legendary Collection on uh, PS5 because it has a PS5 patch. It's like not a native game but there, there was a patch specifically for it and it really uh really well on this oh god there's a lot of geth down there um do i have grenades i'm out oh time to snipe i mean you're also, to be fair, if you're, if you're just joining us now and you didn't hear what I said earlier, this is a game from 2007. So, and it runs on uh, Unreal Engine 3. So. Like I said, it's, it's quite old. And I'm, so, so there will be some jank. There's always a little bit of jank in Mass Effect 1. But it still feels pretty damn good. Uh, do I want to go that way? That looks like an elevator. It is. Will it just take us up here? Okay. Hello. Okay, no one's here. That's a good shotgun. Let's check out my team. I should give... Let's give the wife a better gun. Is that the single shot? I don't want to give her that. Is it the single shot? No, no, it's this one. Okay, that's fine. Arpov? Arpov seems like a really good pistol. See, I like this because the burst is really nice on this pistol. It seems really good. Let's give her the Karpov. Making, there you go. Tally wants a better sniper rifle. Or not because she's... Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll go with that for now. There's a lot less, like, inventory management in um, Mass Effect 2. I do like the customizing your own armor in Mass Effect 2, though. That shit's cool. And free. Also, Jolly, the, the coolest thing about Mass Effect as a trilogy is all a lot of your choices that you make affect the next game like it was really cool back in the day to like have a game series that were coming out and when two was coming out it was like oh you transfer your save over and you just keep playing the new thing you keep playing and it takes a lot of your stuff into account not everything but like some significant points it does and i think that's always really cool like you'll take a choice and a character if you bump into them in two they'll be like oh yeah you did that thing 
And you'll be like, oh shit, yeah, I did. And I always find that that's such a good gimmick. Even like all the way up to three, you can make a choice in one that won't even make it, you, that'll make only a difference in three. And I think that's really cool. Loads of stuff I don't know about the series, especially in terms of like what choices do what. So like I said, this is my second ever playthrough of um, two, of uh, one, sorry. And I know loads of my friends who've played this series like five or six times all the way through. Oh yeah, you'd, you'd like it for that. But yeah, this game does it a lot and it does it pretty well. I always remember like transferring my saves from the original 360 version that I played over was just really, really neat. I love that. Because it keeps your name and everything. It's really good. You can edit your character, I believe. So if you played all the way through one and you want to use the same character, but you want to like change like a particular facial feature that you just like, oh, I want to change that. It looks a bit off. You can, which is really nice. And they did update the uh, models and stuff in this version. Like, I, I don't know how much of a graphical jump there's going to be between this and Mass Effect 2. Like, I can't remember. Also, because this game, like, Mass Effect 1 was the one they've updated the this most, because obviously it needed power. the most work. It must be running off its own generator. This must be the command center for the entire complex. Um, I don't know what, how big the jump is going to be. From here after he went inside. Originally, it was really big. How to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Everything feels more polished into, like especially the shooting. Oh, hey again, what's up? So accurate this pistol. I don't even need a sniper rifle when I can use this thing. Uh, oh, that guy's gonna come running. He's coming. Oh god, he's way too close. Don't smack Tally, jerk. There was a lot more sway as well. There was a lot more um, rifle sway in the original game, which I think they feel like, I feel like they've completely got rid of it. Fuck you, Geth Prime. I don't even need to worry, this guy's getting absolutely destroyed. It used to be hard. Not anymore. Gotcha. Yeah, my gear is like... Everything's a bitch. Also, there's like different classes to pick as well when you start the game. So you, I'm currently playing a vanguard, which is like you cross between a almost like a soldier and a mage. Is it vanguard? Is it vanguard? What I'm playing? Yeah, vanguard. Okay. And so yeah, I have all my like abilities here that I can level up. But obviously, I'm restricted. Like since I'm not the soldier class, I can't have heavy armor. So I'm wearing the light, the best light armor in the game right now. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. What did I interrupt? Unless he's already found it. Then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Oh. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to invading fleets. No escape. It sounds like some what kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be oh. 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. Wait, I understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's Wait, a how do I know the Reaper now? invasion. Because of, of the... Of course. Yeah. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge... Inside the archives. What's it saying? Well, Can broken? you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Yeah, maybe it's a broken. Act of desperation. The conduit. 
All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. Mm. We should go. It cannot be stopped. Okay. It cannot be stopped. I'm also gonna swap. I also forgot. Like I put it as Mass Effect One, but there was a thing on Steam for the Legendary Collection. So I've swapped it to that now. It says I'm now playing the Legendary Collection. That was quite cool. It is. Yeah. Oh, I'm forgetting everything. Okay. I love this space music. I like some of Mass Effect One's music, to be honest. Where are we? Security room. I want to just keep going this way. Wait, hold on. No, yeah, I want to go this way. Yeah, I didn't turn around, did I? This is one of those, that area looks similar to that other area. Is this where I want to go? Yeah, it must have been. I wonder if all the um, crazy armors that you get from, like the crossover armors are in Mass Effect 2 and 3. You can get a couple of unique armors which were like crossovers between like Dragon Age and all that stuff when they were coming out. It does say that most of the DLC is contained. Fuck. I knew it! Wait, what? Wait, hold on, are they just re- No, I'm back at the plaza now. Oh, it's a shortcut, right. Right? Where I wanted me to go. Um, for the security, oh, return to your vehicle. Yeah, of course. Stupid me. That was the on foot section. Now, I'll be honest, chat. People talk about the Mako a lot. This is the Mako. For those of you who don't know, Mass Effect. It is a little, almost like, moon buggy thing. Sorry, I had to cough. Um, and honestly, it doesn't control as bad as I remember it. Like, a lot of people kept, well, it was more like over the years, everyone said, oh, driving the maker's bad. And I came back to it, and I know they tweaked a couple of things with it in this version. But I did play some of the original version last year. I don't think it was that bad. It's never bothered me too much. I have spent my life studying the Protheans, <laughs> but I never dreamed I would discover anything <laughs> like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their wow. entire species. Wow! Instant flip. Just imagine what mysteries that it might hold. Was calm to saying that. Reveal. For Please sake. try to remember why we're here. Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known Wait, galaxy. Why is, why is I am sorry. Wow, Tally, stop being a shit. Up in the moment. I just hope we have the opportunity stop to study this place in detail after this is done. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush for us. They must have been in too much of a hurry. I also didn't realize oh, 20 hours in it. that there's a fucking boost button. Until I a accidentally hit L1 and went, oh shit. I told my friend that. He was, uh... Yeah. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Oh, did that cut off dialogue? It did. Yeah. Oh, wait, we're playing the Mass Effect one theme here. I don't know if we see a Prothean chat, to be honest. We see a collector. It's collectors at two, yeah. I don't know about the Propians. 
for those of you who don't know, Protheans are like ancient race that lived 50,000 years ago that people know vague bits about. That's a giant force field. I'm assuming I can't just what ram is it. Happening? Oh. It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush! Wasn't too much I of do a not trap. think Saren oh. is behind this. Star Wars Episode 1 force field. Um, oh, okay. I guess we're getting out. I see a people sized hole here. Do -do. Got the game load. I do appreciate it. I always find that I have that this studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? The chat, let me know. Whatever Even if you're lurking. Find, be cautious. If this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it as well. Even if you're lurking, and I thoroughly appreciate it, let me know. Did you do you guys played Mass Effect over the years? I, I do find having a one-off with this, even though, like I said, I'm mostly playing it off-stream, is quite fun because I can kind of talk about something completely different and it be relevant to what I'm playing. I just find it weird when I go off on a massive tangent about a completely different game when I'm playing, like, Scarlet Nexus, for example. You are not Prothean. But the you hell are not is machine this? either. Vigil. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why oh, we I sent our warning this. through the beacons. It looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Oh. Unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still oh, hope. Maybe it is a VI. Yeah, because it wouldn't have been able to... This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. Oh, I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. Cool. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Get to the- I don't have time for this ancient VI. <laughs> are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos research facility. Okay, um, yeah, Jolly, don't worry. <laughs> oh, thanks, thanks so much, Jolly. Jolly, I, like, if I had, like, if you were close, I would, like, lend you my 360 copies to try it, and to let you at least try it out. But, no, it's an awesome series. I know you're super busy with stuff, but it really is stellar. Uh... I may play more in the future, but like I said, this for me today, this is a one-off. I really wanted to keep playing it myself off stream, and I did want something different for Sunday. Um, so yeah, that's that's why we're doing it today. Um, and it's just for fun, just for fun. We'll, we'll get back to Scarlet Nexus uh, probably during the week, and then we'll have a Christmas break. But yeah, I will be having a break over Christmas. Uh, Jolly, I don't know if I'll see you in the next stream. If not, have a good Christmas. I'll probably message you. But yeah, thanks. I'll catch you later. Uh, what do you want? Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. Thanks, Charlie. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, oh. one that links to dark space. The empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. Oh. When the Citadel relay that. is activated, the Reapers oh, yeah, will they fall through, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and all you know will be destroyed. Yep. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, and I never got to that bit in Mass Effect 3, so I don't even remember it. Like, what was happening in 3. I always remember the beginning of 3. But, like I said, I never finished it, so... How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. Oh, it's the fucking... the Keepers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable oh, any wow. species that okay, discovers the Citadel to use it without fully people. understanding the technology. Reliance on the huh. Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated, and the Reapers invade. 
Fuck. So all those dodgy people wanting to, like, um, investigate the keepers would genuinely be doing a massive help if they actually got into anything. Though I think they said something about they explode if you touch them. Well, not explode. Something like that. I can't remember what it was. But yeah, that's... Wow, that's crazy. Ah. Huh. That's cool. I forgot that. that The actual reason for them. How do the Reapers survive in out in plot. dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. I forgot, that's super cool. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the en oh. entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. I need to check out something. That was our fate. SSD. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. You didn't surrender? It wouldn't have mattered. The war was lost. If you'd surrendered, they might have let no. you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Yeah, exactly. Our enemy had a single goal. Yeah. The extinction of all advanced organic life. I don't know why life. I said that to make Shepard look stupid. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some oh, worlds were utterly destroyed. Uh... Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. Yeah, I forget. Why did they leave? I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology it's so was crazy. taken. so crazy. It's like how fast, how... Certain yeah, that how all fast advanced organic that life had been extinguished. Day. The Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. Okay. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. Oh shit, I didn't even mean to do that. It just appeared. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit oh, is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. Huh. They didn't find How did you, you manage yeah. to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, oh. Ilos was spared. It almost lives within we the We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, every oh, one was put into right. cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, oh, slow so process. Slow. Oh, okay. Years passed, decades, centuries. Right. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. 
Okay. So, because it makes it sound like it was like a few weeks and everyone was gone. But no, it's like years and years. Like centuries. He should have fought. That's we not what I said. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was <laughs> to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Okay. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just oh. shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely un- Why is my hard drive doing my- My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. Hmm. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff <laughs> about this contingency. I oh, saved key personnel. Tally. When What's the Reapers that? retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Only few, I'll save no one. Yeah. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle it's a bit... forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. It's a bit kill for the great, greater cause kind of thing, isn't it, Tenex? Where you kind of have to, like... Like, yeah, but these... We're kind of have to going to do this, but it's going to be really brutal. Yeah, it's going to be really brutal or we end up just, you know, do not doing it and everyone's gone. Yeah, it's, it's damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of situation. Which is weird for a VI thing to have. God, my throat is all over the place. <laughs> I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the conduit? Well, the conduit do. gives him access yeah, to the Citadel the and the Keepers. I don't even know why I asked that. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. Yeah. After decades of feverish study, they get rid of the, the scientists discovered a remember. way to alter this well, signal. Do, Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer right. control of the station to Sovereign. So Sovereign will it. override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin it. again. I'll stop Saren. Just tell me how. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. This. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Uh, I think we kind of know all about this, really. I, I can specifically ask if about Sovereign. If the Reapers Sovereign? are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get yeah. here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Yeah, I guess. Like a scout. Like those in dark space. Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, yeah, just, it would wake to hiding, analyze the situation. The Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel yeah, and sense. usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time, the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Oh, okay. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Just Sovereign is not invincible. Yeah. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. 
Yeah. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the yeah, unknown. They, they Sovereign the could have been planning this for centuries. Moving deliberately, gathering Why, allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle. Working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown oh, yeah, bold. I do wonder who could Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot I say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. I feel like he's just going to relay some of the stuff we already did. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's yeah, go. Yeah, we've been talking all this Shepherd, time. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only oh, link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. Oh shit, you're super right. It might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. Uh, My data banks, however, are limited to information because, uh, you know directly what? related well, well, to stopping the yeah, Reaper invasion. Right. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons span the breadth of our empire. We use them as a single galaxy-wide network yeah, yeah, that makes... to oh, transmit okay. data and communications rapidly from world to world. Was it meant to? Virtually all the beacons were stuff? destroyed during the invasion. But once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. Oh, okay. That makes sense. We knew it was unlikely there were but other we survivors. But if there Just were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope, so a message was sent across the network. It's like a galaxy wide web. It kind of is. They tweeted out a message. <laughs> they tweeted out a gif. <laughs> oh my god, that's very much what they did. They fucking sent out a gif. And the gif was a little laggy. It was one of those really slow F FPS gifs. Then I had to like upscale it by getting more gifts <laughs> fucking gif <laughs> i like the imp yeah i like the idea that they just sent out a gif i mean it was just a series of images like really flashing up kind of quick <laughs> anyway it was you could have exposed yourself to the reapers Not because... in truth we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function but we had to try if there were survivors we had to reach them Save universe from Reapers, The message please. was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. I like how we that still didn't understand the power of Reaper terms. indoctrination. Can't click that link, it won't send you anywhere. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to <laughs> this <laughs> world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. Hey. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps oh, the very yeah, first. yeah, that could be it. I didn't think about that. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. Oh, In I any like case, they cool. were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. Oh. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. That's when the Protheans weird. altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Huh. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. Yeah. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers uh, evolved yeah, in an unanticipated sense. direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. I like how I'm side on now. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel, but the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. Huh. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. Well. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Yeah, Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. Yeah. I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Oh, it's not so yet. Shit. There is still hope if you hurry. Oh god. Oh god. I have to zoom in on that. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, okay, that's it. I can't talk anymore. Makes more sense while the Mass Effect main theme. Well, at least Mass Effect 1's main theme is now playing. That was a big plot dump moment, chat. Chat, you know when I said story focused game? Yeah, I meant story focused game. All their culture, all their advanced technology, and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. Just like my people, but they also gave us a chance to save ourselves. We must hurry. I'm glad I brought um, Liara here. If anyone's gonna get mad over Prothean shit, it's gonna be her. Boost! God, I wish I'd have remembered that boost while I was playing through the game myself. So silly. Get lost. Jeez. Oh. The hell did I get stuck on? Woo! <laughs> That's a good time for the game to save there. Oh, there might have been someone behind me, but too late, I'm going now. Whee! Do you remember, like, a driving section like this on Elos? Are the Reapers real? Are they controlling the galaxy right under our noses? Join us at wearebullshit.uni to find out. <laughs> Wait, why is it dot .uni? Or is it Unite? Is that, is, that, is that why it's Uni? I did not see that Geth Rocket Trooper. There we go. Yep. You know what? I know how to solve. I, I know how to solve the problem of a Geth Colossus. Just make it ragdoll. And then wail on it a little bit. <laughs> There's something super funny about the ragdoll in this game. Look at it. <laughs> it's so dumb. Bleh. <laughs> oh, it's so scary. It's like a cat or a dog falling over. <laughs> Get lost. Yeah, then run over its corpse. Oh, uni for universe? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, United works. Unite to fight the Reapers. Which we'll see a lot of in Mass Effect 3. Literally that entire game is Unite to fight the Reapers. Bye. Bye. <laughs> It's weird how you fight a fresher maw and it's a genuine like oh shit it's gonna it can kill us in like two or three hits and then every other section with like gaff or whatever is like super easy in the in the macro on the maker sorry i'm getting mixed up between macro and maker energy from uh, final fantasy 7. Time to boost! There, the conduit. Oh, is that it? It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the Oh, view. yeah, it's like a mini we have to mass get through relay. That relay okay. And these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Oh. Okay. FMV? Oh. I forgot this happens now. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Uh, hey, Citadel, wake up. I forget this happens in Mass Effect 1, actually. It's like a big moment as well. I remember fighting up to the Citadel. You were always close to the end of the game. Hey, see, sorry. The defensive. Come on. Uh, sorry. Seal Come the on, station. Dorothy. The arms aren't moving. System's not responding. Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the council. Citadel Control! Citadel Control, do you copy? Oh. 
Oh, that was a weird cut. Okay. Okay, we're not done with uh, Ivalos yet. Oh, music! Hang on, things are going to get a little rough. Oh, there's shit tons. Well, time to run one over. Get out of the way, Geth Colossus! Get jobbed! Oh shit, conduit closing. Oh, ah, ah. I ain't got time. I forgot that was happening. That's cool. Oh, I took a lot of damage. Oh! I guess that just worked. We were just getting shot at during that. Beep boop, kill all organics. Beep boop. Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Oh, there it is. Please begin emergency evacuation. Oh, this is the final bit of the game. Yeah, this is the last section. Oh, I was close to the end. This is what was close. I thought that section was a lot longer than on that planet. Guess not. It's alright, chat. I'm going to be probably playing Mass Effect 2 a bit today, anyway. Oh god, okay, hey. Shit's not looking too good. Everything is blocked off. Hey, Avina. Oh, there's a husk there. Hi. Bam. Oh, yeah, they explode. Hopefully, they'll get too close. Whoa. Holy shit, that husk is rich. That husk had shit the tons of credits on it. I did. Oh, the oh. Entire level. All non emergency personnel. Avina, looking a bit like Mass Effect Andromeda there. You alright? What's Give up? Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all Shit's primary broke. power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class ah. 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. Yeah, I am good. also detecting that's numerous that's unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Oh shit, there was an. Come on! We need to stop Saren before it's too late! Oh, there was an ash shot. Begin emergency evacuation procedure. Oh no. This is not a drill. I think I missed Critical that investigate. I could have investigated more. I ain't got time! Go save a citadel. If I remember rightly, this loading screen takes the piss in the original version. There we go. It's already loaded in this way. The Citadel's closing! They're shi- <laughs> What? Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms! I wonder if they up res these. Oh, they didn't actually. They always look really good. Oh. This is this shit is cool though. I just totally forgot it happened. Wow. Nah, nah, bro. Just <laughs> the raid through. That's not looking good, is it? Wow, I don't. There's so much I kind of forgot about Mass Effect 1 here. It's weird, because it's like a weird leech. The Reapers are a good design. They're like uncomfortable insect chip. I really like its design, but they're really neat. It has, it has become one with the Citadel. I oh, see that's a cool shot. That's that's cool. Saren's locked the elevator. Suit up. We're going outside. Oh whoa! I forgot that happened. Cool. Oh wow! I definitely forgot about this part. This is neat. Need that um. Uh, Dead Space 2, Zero Gravity, shit. That's, that stuff's awesome. Ooh, at least we get a good shot. Oh, that's awesome. I 
nice. Yeah, I remember this bit being pretty bad. Run, run, run. Come on, team. I guess we don't change spots here. Oh, wow. That, like, when I picked them, that really was my end game squad. What's up, Gap? It's all right. Not the song. Oh, it's too powerful. I need to dodge that. Nope. Coming through, nerds! Get out of the way! Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, we're in zero ground. <laughs> wow, throwing, throwing is busted. Oh, I should get Liara to do that. That was hilarious. No, we're not purging for Legion. Wow, I don't remember much about Legion at all. All I remember is being like, holy shit, this is awesome. I don't remember much at all about Legion, though. Is Legion 2? Legion's 2, right? Is he 2 or is he 3? Is he like the beginning of 3? I can't remember. No, he's from 2, okay. Like again, show how long I, uh, how long I, um, I played my two. I mean, I actually made I. The one thing I always remember is the final section of my two. I actually did perfect. I didn't lose anyone. Game's hitching, it's probably loading some stuff. Awesome. The one thing I really do like is they updated the uh, UI in this game. Like from one. Uh, they pretty much made it light freeze. And it's a lot. I, I love the curve of. Well, I, even Andromeda's looks really similar. But, like the sort of shield curve bar. The health curve bar, I really like that. It's a lot better than the first game's UI. It was really unsure to know if you were out of shields in the first game. When I went back and looked at it, I'm like, it's really weird. When you're in, like, just the health bit, you don't really have a complete indication. You get, like, a weird part that you're supposed to You know what? I need this. Okay, girls, do your thing. Oh shit, I forgot that's on an area. Oh, that was terrible. There we go. Did we get him? Oh, that got him. See ya. That <laughs> romance leech. No romancing. Actually, I don't even know. I'm assuming you can. Open Citadel Defense Turret. There we go. Oh, nice. God, this crystal's amazing. I just need to hit, um, what is it? Marksman? Accidentally threw him the This pistol's bullshit though. How about you, you know, have a taste of your own medicine? Oh, the shotgun's really good as well. <laughs> This is the kind of shotgun I want. Really. Fast fire shot rate. The fast fire rate on the shotgun is pretty funny in this game. But yeah, they never have the damage. You know, but... I had barrier. I was fine. Is that it? 
Yep, what about this? This thing's all good. Add romance to the rocket, go for robot, go for your rocket. No! I forgot, I almost forgot. I remember being like, what? When that happened. Oh wait, I can still shoot at it? No? Oh, maybe I'm having... Oh, I can activate it. Oh, sit on the fence to open the screen. Here we go. Oh, the sit. Oh, oh, the auto sit is a pretty good deal. <laughs> this is why playing a biotic is fun. Do goofy shit like that. Who doesn't want to do that? Lift. Refines it. Three refines it more. I miss the roll. I always miss the roll. There's a roll in uh, Mass Effect 3, I think. I love the manual roll. Get him! Shoot him! There we go. Coil on that is incredibly good. Oh shit, I didn't realize it. I thought it was gone. I guess not. This way? Bear with me a second, chat. Hatch. Okay. Oh. Okay, this is the final bit of the game. 100% gonna make a new save here. But literally the final boss. Oh, we're gonna have a new party in about. I don't know, like. 20 minutes? <laughs> I can't remember after final boss stuff. Like, how much dialogue and stuff there is. Though, we're going to see it. That'll be a good time to take a break as well. Take my first break of the stream. Might play the first two hours of Mass Effect 2. And then, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll end it for the one-off today. I didn't intend to stream, like, for, like, five hours or anything, chat. I might play a bit more of Mass Effect 2 off stream tonight. Um, I'll see how I feel. But yeah, with um, like I said, I'm still a bit ill, not perfect. Uh, it's more 
Like, I can feel my throat's a little bit tingly right now. It's more I'm really tired. But also, I've had a I've had a work shift today. Not had the best sleep in the last two nights, so it's more tired than anything. Also, I'll need to eat. As you guys know, I don't eat before stream, so I'll have to have dinner. Stop right there! Wait, were you doing that all this time? That took you a while, Saren. This, I always found this stupid floaty thing really goofy. Oh, I'm gonna fly on my UFO for space. Oh, yeah, this knocks the party out. It's a 1v1, I, was I think. I afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. Oh, my neck looks super weird in the shot. In time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end Oh my like god, this. it super is. You've lost. It's you know that, ball. don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. Uh, have we? You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. Oh, he's undoctrinated. Look at look at his fucking eyes now. His eyes are super nuts. Also, since we did Vermeer last, that that wasn't long ago. <laughs> Fancy hardware is not gonna save you. I suppose Stupid I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said about Sovereign manipulating me, about indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my what? resolve. Now my doubts are gone. What do you mean by I believe in Sovereign completely. Yeah, okay. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Yep, there we go. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? No. The relationship is symbiotic. Okay. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses no, you're of neither. Nuts now. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a oh. true rebirth. No, 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 no. No more stalling, Saren. Let's fit. I fucking god, I saved that. Fuck. I did the thing where you can press X as the like to see the dialogue wheel a little bit earlier and I fucking hit the wrong button. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I've done that way too many times. It's a blessing and a curse, that thing. And you're like, oh, I want to see the dialogue wheel. And then that happens. Because there was a blue. I saw a blue charm sort of um, paragon option there. And I wanted to see what it was. I might not have picked it, but I did want to see it. I mean, it probably wouldn't make a difference. So you're going to have to fight Saren. But I want to see it because of curiosity. So I never had... Oh, excuse me. In the original, getting your charm and intimidate is a lot... I think it's a lot harder to get up. In the original than it was in the Legendary Edition. You would have to do multiple playthroughs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's only significant points that actually make a difference. I want to see the illusion, though. Yeah, I didn't think so. You can't really change a dramatic section like this. Remember, like, the penultimate final boss moments coming up when you just go, nah, you make it, it just in doesn't time, happen. Shepard. Not many games that do that. Right, we saw this, so... In time. The final. You've uh, lost. You know that, don't you? I've still you survived our encounter on Verma. Fancy I, the, now my doubts are gone. Sovereign... The, I am a vision of the future, Shepard. Oh, it's a weak of a mental. All this is stupid. Life. This is our destiny. Join oh, I kind of wish I had that, actually. Experience I would have picked this one. Rebirth. Fuck, I would have picked that one. That's annoying. Oh, this is dumb. I want to hear this. 
This is gonna sound dumb because no way can you defend Sovereign this. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Oh, okay. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the that Protheans. That felt like I almost got to him for a little bit. Oh, wait, what, what? I can keep going? Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Ah, oh, that's kind of cool. It doesn't for, work, obviously. For... Oh, he said a few words and that... Like... Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for Oh, me. shit. Oh, shit. This is kind of cool. Like, I know it's not going to make a difference, but it's cool. It's not over yet. You can still redeem That's cool yourself. just fighting him straight up. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Whoa, wait, what? I didn't even know I could do that. <laughs> what? Yo, I had no idea. I said that as a joke. I said, oh, there's no way the penultimate final boss is just gonna, oh. I didn't know you could do that. Yo, that's kind of sick. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, but that's not cool. Is it just going to end the game now, Tenox? There's no final boss at all? That's bullshit. I appreciate you get the choice. There's, as in, yes, there's no final boss. Holy fuck. That's funny. That's really, really funny. How did I not know that? Well, to be fair, I never had those choices. A big now? Let me see. We've saved the game, so. This looks like it is. File worked. Yeah? I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector wow, with the that's entire so Arcturus funny. fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. This girl. True. That's why you can't <laughs> waste reinforcements trying to save the Council. You must oh. hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? I forgot about this. What the fuck did I originally do? Um... Ah, okay, um... I don't want to let them die. Sure, but the council has stuck up dicks that are better than... Eh. Well, yeah, I don't... Wait, what? My brain goes, so what... I thought this would be a two-way thing. Let council die or save council. So what the fuck's concentrate on sovereign? Because my brain goes to that. But isn't that the same as let the council die? Are there really three choices here? Or is concentrate on sovereign a random? I have no idea what that could be. I just kind of want to Google that because I'm actually not sure. Tenex, do you know which one it is? Illusion of choice. 
might be. Yeah, because I don't know what the fuck concentrate on sovereign means. Uh... Oh, what the fuck? Choosing to let them die leaves the destiny essential to... That's actually really cool. What? Yo, I didn't know you could do that. Holy shit, I didn't even know you could. That's awesome. Wow. I didn't actually know you could do that. Oh, fucking. Mm. Save the people. So this is Paragon or Renegade, basically. That's what these choices are right now. This is a moment where I spend a lot of time on a thing like this because I go, hmm. I don't know what concentrate on suffering means. No one wants to talk about that, neither. Yeah, I have no idea what that section means. Uh, what this selection means. Let me see. Wait until those arms open, Joker. We need all our ships focusing on Sovereign, even if it means oh. sacrificing the Council. That's what that means. A sacrifice for the greater good. I only pray it is not made in vain. Did I get like a bunch of renegade for that? All Alliance ships, home formation. Wow, Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Else. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. I'll see what happens here. I don't know what happens with this choice at all. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. I, I must have saved the council in my original channel. playthrough. This is the ascension. We are taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are over. Kinetic barriers are offline. Commander, they closed the channel. Oh. That's what it does. Fuck. Make sure he's dead. Oh, he's not dead. Yeah, it's the same thing. Oh, fucking hell. Tally took good shit, Tally. You beat Saren all by yourself. He's dead. Whoop. He's gonna float back up. Oh, I think he's actually gonna float back up. Ah it's me! The illusion of choice! That's actually pretty sick. Yeah, I never saw this. Oh. I am sovereign, and this is No, you will not miss the final boss. Yeah, you fight him on his dumb fucking Silver Surfer board. I like that. I like calling it Silver Surfer board. That was a good, 
good gag, Tenox. Really yeah. Maybe, maybe this does happen, I just don't remember it. Wow, I'll get fucked, Saren. Pistol. Carnage. Wait, did that even hit him? Oh, he's gone. He's fucking done. Yeah. Sovereign's too strong. We have to pull back. Oh wow, so that didn't mean much. Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down, no matter what the cost. Oh shit! Shit! Keep playing the video game. Ow. I took my hands off the controller. <laughs> it's the ad phase. It's almost dead, isn't it? Where'd he go? I also remember this area looking a lot darker than it looks here. Bastard in here. I'm assuming this will work. Immune to lift. Freaking out over there. What's going on, Saren? Oh, so the... I'm losing track of this guy. That bitch. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I looked at the choice actually. If you concentrate on sovereign, you get half renegade. Wait, is it half renegade? It's like shields are down. Now's our chance. Points. You get eight power points and nine renegade points. Whereas you get the full if you choose to use the bike. Hard on my flank! We're going in! Yeah, I must have saved the council. Don't kill Sovereign. No, no way. Sovereign Go! can't live all the way to Mass Effect 3. No way. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. I was unsure what happened there. Yeah, you just got, yeah, you got bonked by Sovereign, yeah. Yeah! They are doing good. Captain Anderson, we found them! They're in here! 
Hey. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Thanks, Anderson. Where's the commander? I got almost got squished. And I pose on top of Sovereign like a badass. I don't know, Anderson. The game says there's free in here. Free games. I think I'm dead yet. Keep looking. There I am in my cool red and black skin tight as fuck suit. Yeah! War hero! <laughs> I forgot how goofy it is! <laughs> oh, it's so silly! Yeah, yeah, he waited for the perfect pose. <laughs> oh my god, my smile! <laughs> oh, that looks dumb. Yeah! Medal of Honor, yeah, there we go. We got your message, Ambassador. What's all this about? No need to get worked up, Captain. Uh, I'd like to end dead. this meeting with all my teeth still in place. Uh -huh. You should thank me for got what him. I did. If the Normandy was still grounded, we'd all be dead right now. I understand, Captain. You did what you had to do. That's not why you're here. We need to talk uh -oh. about what happened to the Council. I picked... Ooh. Commander Shepard did the right thing. Did I? We had to hold our fleet back to go after Sovereign. It was the only way. I agree, but this ah. also presents us with an opportunity. The Citadel fleets were out. decimated in the attack. Their losses have made the Alliance stronger. They can't rebuild without us. We need to take the lead in forming a new council. One with a human chairman at its head. Hmm. I can see the other races inviting us to join the Council, but lead it? That's a whole different story. The other species are scared. Yeah. They've never faced anything like Who this before. Taking over the galaxy? They don't know what to do. They want us to step forward. They believe in us because of you, Shepard. You saved the galaxy from Sovereign. You're a symbol of everything good about humanity. Our courage. Who did it? Our strength. Not the actually right. too pit. He doesn't seem the other races look up to us shockingly. Now. They won't just accept our leadership. They'll welcome it. Given everything you've done, Commander, the Alliance will want to know who you think our council chairman should be. Oh, fuck me. Oh, God. Uh... Um... I, uh... So, hmm. In, okay, so I, uh, this is the bit I remember. So obviously I'm talking way in advance here. In Mass Effect 3, one of the beginning things I think is, and I, I kind of want this to happen again because I thought it was really cool, um, is Anderson doesn't uh, was a Spectre and then he isn't one in Mass Effect 1. Um, if I remember rightly, in Mass Effect 3, when you meet up with him really early on in the game, he's a Spectre again. But, if Captain Anderson, if I choose Captain Anderson to be on the council now, which is clearly what I didn't do, I must have saved the council in my original playthrough, that means that, um, if he's on the council, he can't become a Spectre again, right? Because he's already on the council, unless something else happens, like... I am kind of unsure. So that's where I'm going here. Yeah, I'm 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 really unsure what happens in this if I pick Anderson here. Who do you want to head the chairman of your new uh, lead political party and actual politician or oh, oh, wait? Sorry. An actual politician or a soldier. I mean, Udina makes sense. But, if I remember rightly, Udina really turns a new leaf during the series. So, I think Udina does make the most sense. Yeah, Anderson's a soldier. He's not... Yeah, he's, he, w he wouldn't like it, even if he said it. Like, I think he'd hate it, because 
you know, he doesn't like ocean pencils. Does he not? I mean, politicians are corrupt anyway, most of the time, but... <sighs> yeah, Anderson wouldn't like that. We need someone who understands how politics works. Yeah. Someone used to dealing with the other species. Someone like you, Ambassador. He is the logical choice. So what happens now? The Reapers are still out there. The game's audio They're coming, cuts. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. <laughs> Uh, did we just run into Shepherds? Yeah, right, I think I did. we're headed for war with the Reapers. If we lose, it's the end of all life as we know it. We have to show the rest of the galaxy what it takes to survive with the support of the other races. See? We can win this that's, battle. That's turning with a new them lead behind to me. us. We can stand against the Reapers' return. And drive them back into dark space. I think the music was supposed to come. Weird. Do do. <laughs> Play elevator music in the background. Oh, wait, does he? Oh, fuck me. Well, I guess we'll see. We'll play a bit more today. We'll play a bit more. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know if I want to cheer you, Casey Hudson, because you did some shit with Bioware. That game's good, though. Mass Effect 1's great. This music's goofy as shit. Oh, shit, DMC. I don't know. I don't know if I will. I don't know if I will. It has it has vocals, so you always worry. Okay, you can skip it. I, I, thank you, Mass Effect devs. I'm sorry I skipped you, but I'm streaming. Please understand. There we, <laughs> there we go. Can't let you have it easier because you saved the unit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, saved saved like the entire citadel, but you know, no matter. So yeah, there's definitely going to be some things that are now very different. Also, yes, I call myself Alexia because that's kind of what I call all my characters. So I ended up 26 hours, 10 minutes. I think that's actually really, really, really close to what I originally ended the game at. Um, so yeah, that's all right. Um, I guess I just exit to launcher now. Complete the game on any... Oh, yeah, actually being on normal, so that's nice. That's because melee attack- oh wait. Wait, these are achievements for all the games? Oh, weird. It's not just the achievements for Mass Effect 1. Oh. Oh, I guess, yeah, so they don't do them separate. But there is separate achievements, isn't there? Oh, that is weird. I didn't know they did it like that. So if I exit to launcher, it's going to just take us back to the... Um, yeah, I guess. Well, there we go. That was Mass Effect 1. Chat, go play Mass Effect. It's really good. They're all really good. Go play this edition. It's very good. You can go play it on your pretty much everything. It's kind of crazy that... I, I guess they couldn't make the Legendary Collection available on Switch. But, like... Th th I think if you tweaked the game enough, you could get it to run on Switch fine. They're all, they are last gen... Last... Two gens ago, after all. But you would have to probably, like... They'd probably only be the original versions. You won't be able to, like, do the upscale versions that these versions have. So the next game, you're just called a madman again and when people tell you shit. Never mind that you always turned out to be the right... Ah, uh, okay. Oh, really? I can't, I can't remember. Well, to be fair, a lot of shit happens to you at the beginning of Mass Effect 2. Which we'll see now. But I'll take a break. I'll take a quick screen break. I'll let this load. I've actually never booted this up. On this version. The one thing I don't like. And I don't know if you can do it in the digital release of Mass Effect Legendary Collection. I don't know if you can do it in um the PC port. I wish you could install the games individually. It's dumb that you can't do that. That's the one thing I liked that they did with um, Call of Duty. Where you could install multiplayer, zombies, 
spec ops, all that crap. You can select which ones you wanted. So when you beat the campaign, you're like, oh, cool, I don't, don't need any of that. I wish I could delete Mass Effect 1 because I'm done with it. But you can't, and it's annoying. So you got to have, like, a whole 108 gig or whatever this game takes up. So, yeah, I've not actually seen this running um, on the collection before, so it's all new to me. Let me have a look at this. I'm going to prioritize frame rate. 100% because I'm not running 4K on a tiny little 27-inch um, screen. I don't know what the audio mixing is going to be like, so let's... Let me knock that down just to like 85. It might be very different. Uh, gameplay. Uh, yes. On. And yeah, I always remember this menu. Right, chat. I'm going to leave you with this. I agree with that choice. No motion blur. Motion blur is bad. Is motion blur on? I don't actually mind... Motion blur is on. Nah, fuck you. We're leaving motion blur on. I mean, it is old mo uh, motion blur. Motion blur isn't always bad. Per, obje uh, per object motion blur, I love. I don't think this game has per object motion blur. It's quite old. And it's also still running on a slightly upgraded UE3. So, it's probably old motion blur. But I don't mind it. Um, For most games. I don't tend to notice it all the time. I'll, 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 I'll turn it off maybe during a section, see the difference, but I don't mind. Uh, to be fair, a lot of motion blur was disguised to, uh, which was used to disguise it running worse, uh, to make it look better than it was uh, back in the day. I don't know what it's going to be like in this one, but we'll see. Uh, chat, I'm going to go take a quick toilet break. Um, I also, yeah, you know what, I'm going to refill my bottle. So I'll be gone for like two or three minutes, um, around like three minutes or so. Uh, and then when we're done, we're going to start uh, a bit of Mass Effect 2. And I'm going to play that for the rest until the end of the stream. Uh, like I said, I don't plan to continuously play this. But if you have enjoyed this, please let me know over on the Discord. Or just let me know in the chat if you've actually enjoyed watching through a bit of Mass Effect with me. Uh, because I can always continue it uh, at some point. But I have been enjoying playing them off stream. It's kind of my off stream game. I'm just doing it for a bit of a change today. As I did want to finish that. That was my plan to do um, that today. Now I've done it, so that's nice. Uh, right, I'll be gone uh, uh, for a little bit. And I will catch you in a few minutes, guys. Thank you for sticking around.
And I'm back. <clears throat> Thank you for waiting, guys. I'll turn my camera on in a second. There we go. Oh, on to Mass Effect 2. Oh, fun times. I like this game. This game's good. Game's good. I'm going to feel... It's going to be really weird, because obviously... I have never jumped from 1 to 2 this quickly. So the... I feel like the upgrades are become are going to become very apparent really quickly. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. Actually, chat as well. Before we carry on, let me go over to here really quick. I'm not playing Scarlet Nexus. Okay, ignore that. Uh, let me just change that real quick. Okay, that'll do. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, actually, the last uh, thing I would just want to do before I hit new game and transfer my save, um, which I assume I can I can do <laughs> in this version, um, I'm just going to quickly talk... Uh, very quick, I'm just going to remind you guys about the poll uh, for the next full playthrough we'll be doing. So, we'll be continuing uh, Scarlet Nexus on... I haven't decided when I want to do it. I'm probably going to say Wednesday chat. Because like I said, I'm still working Tuesday. Uh, but Wednesday, I actually have a day off. It's either going to be Tuesday or Wednesday when I stream Scarlet Nexus. I I'm so I'm going to double check and I'll let you guys know over on the Discord. Which you can check in a link below or type in exclamation mark Discord. So I'm sure you guys watching may already be in the Discord. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish off Scarlet Nexus during the week. Uh, I don't know if I'll finish off Kasane's story. We'll have to see. And then I'll let you guys know because I'll be obviously taking Christmas break. Not going to stream on New Year's Eve, which is my only free day. Um, that week, really. So, I'm like, ah, no one really wants to watch. Everyone's going to be doing stuff for Christmas Eve. Like, it's, it, I don't really want to stream Christmas Eve because if I want, you know, if my family need me or anything, or I need to go, like, deliver presents, I don't know. I'd rather not be streaming most of the day um so i'll take a christmas break and then i'll come back either the week after or the week after that only because my work week the week next week is horrendous it's really bad it's a really really bad week like ugh, don't like it at all so that's gonna be a rough couple of shifts uh, which means I'll probably be like knackered and maybe finding just the time to even stream a little bit might be really difficult. So, yeah, there might be some issues there. I'll obviously keep you guys updated on the Discord. Uh, but let's check out the poll before I start doing this. Again, thank you for everyone who's been sat lurking. I hopefully you've enjoyed this little one-off we've had. Don't always do one-offs. So I am enjoying this because I, I, honestly I really wanted to play it myself. And I'm like, this is a game I can talk to about the chat. Someone might really like Mass Effect here. I mean, Ten Oaks, you seem to know Mass Effect pretty well. You seem to have been pra pretty happy with both games I had uh, planned to play today. Uh, let's have a look at this poll really quick. It's also in the Discord, for those of you who might not have seen it during the stream. You can type in exclamation mark poll to bring it up as well. Uh, though I did just bring it up. Probably on cooldown. I'm going to click poll now and have a look at it really quickly. Uh, results. So currently, uh, it has multiple choice as well. Because, you know, if you like a particular game and you can't decide, there is multiple choice. We don't have, like, shit tons of people in our little community. So I like to give people a little bit of a choice. Um, so if I move over to PC screen. You can see, maybe, if Firefox wants to load. There we go. You can see it there. That currently Crash Bandicoot and Deathloop are tied for top place. Um, Deathloop, I'll be playing over on the PS5. I'll be starting this after Christmas chat because, obviously, 
I want to do it. I want to sit down and be like, this is a new playthrough. I've got a couple of, you know, streams and open times in my work timetable to play it since my work shifts change every week. Uh, but yeah, we'll be playing that. We'll be playing Deathloop on PS5. That's the version I got. And this is kind of a Christmas present anyway, along with Monster Hunter Stories 2, which um, I tried out a little bit more. Uh, I played it the other day. Because I, I may do that as a full playthrough. Um, most of these games on this list, I will do a full playthrough at some point. But it's kind of deciding what you guys want to see. Crash Bandicoot 3... Uh, Crash Bandicoot, sorry. Crash Bandicoot 4 was quite high in the previous um, poll. So I, I do expect that to probably win. So it probably will be Crash 4. That will be a shorter playthrough. That will be on the PS5 as well. Most of these will be, obviously... Uh, apart from Dead Space 2, which I'll probably have to tweak to play on PC. Uh, Dead Space 2 is also not a full first play, because I played most of it and didn't finish it, despite how frigging good that game is. Uh, everything else is a pretty much a first playthrough, and I've never touched it before. I don't know how long Deathloop will be as a game, but I'd have to check that out. But yeah, I feel like it's going to end up being Crash Bandicoot 4 by the end of it. But yeah, it's going to go on for a little week or two, so you guys can choose or, or change it whenever you like. Alright, let's um, start some Mass Effect 2. I don't enough talking about my poll stuff. So. Import Mass Effect 1 character. Okay. That looks really ominous. What's with, what's with the, like, creepy red rune? Just import, I guess. Oh, yeah, because there's a different way of leveling in uh, Mass Effect 1. They changed it. This is 51 when it, I think I was actually like 29 or something. Good. Um. Oh, okay. No. Why the fuck would I want auto level up? I hate that. What's this? Oh, is this telling me what it's imported? Oh, yeah, hold on. Shit. So, as well, chat, Rex was ne Re Rex got shot by Ashley in my first playthrough. So, anytime Rex appears in the Mass Effect 2 or Mass Effect 3 plot, I ain't got a fucking clue. That's going to be new to me. That's the same. Fortunately, Caden was uh, killed on Vermeer as well. The council was lost during the attack on the Citadel. That. Okay, so th these are pretty much your four main ones. Really. Um, yeah, the council history. I believe the council survived in my first playthrough. So any of the council being dead stuff is new to me. And yeah, this obviously will be new. Oh, let's go. I think, I, I think I'm right to say that this is the the high point of the Mass Effect franchise series. I think. I think I'm right to say that, chat. Now I actually remember Cerberus as well, because I fought them loads. Right. More than Mainly beside missions, for. though. Not very mainline. Commander line. Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. Oh, yeah, and the cut. Miranda ass war. shots because there's a lot no less in this version apparently. Humanity is under attack. Apparently they changed them but for the re-release. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Shut up, yeah. Geth. Very in your We both face. know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. Feels weird jumping to two. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never Sketch trust Cerberus. Fuck. They'll never accept our help, even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard, they'll follow her. She's a hero, a bloody icon. But she's just one woman. Miranda's if we lose Shepard, humanity might but I never follow. trusted her. Then see to it that we don't lose her. For one month after the devastating Geth attack. <laughs> the human led council is forced to respond to the Oh yeah, this this must be different. Yeah, I guess that's slightly different. 
if you set up a council, obviously. It's the Normandy. Disengaging FTL drives. Nothing bad's gonna happen here. Yeah. Mission sinks active. <laughs> Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. It's surreal jumping to two straight away. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Well, oh, doesn't match any known signatures. It's. Cruiser is oh, it's the collector course. ship, isn't it? Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not, not the, the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers. You wish. It's it's more bugs. Bugoid blast. I forgot. Personally, just dies. Oh. I think. Kinetic barriers down. Multiple hull breaches. Weapons offline. Somebody get that fire out. It's the bug blaster. Oh, it's a game play. Everyone haul ass. Oh, hey, Liara. Yo. Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? Oh, it didn't let me change my... Fuck. I wanted to change my mouth. I guess I'm not allowed. The Alliance won't abandon us. We just need to hold on. Get everyone onto the escape shuttles. Joker's still in the ah, yes. Space, space fire extinguishers. I'm not leaving. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Go, 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 Joker. Shepard, we his are legs go. Are busted. Now. Aye, aye. Thanks, Liara. Our suit's got a decent upgrade at some point. It also looks like I'm wearing heavy armor. Everybody in! Go, go, go! Oh! Oh, Jesus. Exciting start, that's for sure. Oh, I remember this cool little space walkie bit. Bit here. Yeah, this is the bit. I remember this. <laughs> mayday! 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 This is SSV Normandy! Come in, Joker! We've suffered heavy damage from an unknown enemy! Whoa. Jeez, we just went from everything being blown up and on fire. Oh, baby, hold together. Hold together. Yeah, this bit's sick. That's super cool. I also forgot how good, uh, how damn good some of the Mass Effect 1 skyboxes are. Or Mass Effect 2, even. Really cool. Oh, yeah, like his section's like almost protected by that force field. Hey. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. Uh, you are actually crazy. Yeah, don't be stupid. The Normandy's dead, just like us if we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to... Oh, no. I know you love the ship, but you're being stupid. About to finish off what's left. Oh. Yep, that's no good. Come on, dumbass. Time to leave. Top 
talked about last session. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is how it happens. Oh, there we go. And this game over. It's a big loss for the alliance right there. bit is kind of cool. Kind of like that bit. Oh, it's like really quiet. Jesus, I'm expecting a James Bond theme to kick in. I don't know why. I think it was the pan. Well, that's it. That was fun. Yeah, very short game, like 15 minutes long. Easy. Best game in franchise. Why? Because 15 minutes. What the fuck is this? Mass Effect Genesis is an interactive comment that's uh, comic comment. Where the fuck comic that summarizes the events of Mass Effect One. Would you like to review the story so far? Um. I guess this was a DLC. I think some of them were a DLC. Um, I'm going to say Nero. And I'm going to do that myself. If all it does is summarize the game. Like everything I did. Commander the Shepard has been recovered. I'm going to do that off stream. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Even if I have to replay that section. It's just cutscenes anyway, you might be able to skip them. <laughs> I think you can also make the choices in that as well. You can make them if you started a new game on Mass Effect without importing. Which I think is really neat. Especially if you want to play two again, specifically two. I always remember this but soon. Being rebuilt, mind controlled by Cerberus. Oh, that's where I get my upgrades. Also, yeah, but the model does look better. I didn't think it would. So I thought they imported everything. Right. Okay, so this is my actual face. <laughs> it's not my IRL face. But. <laughs> this is why I don't get it straight away. They give me reason for a character creator again. Now. I kind of like how my shepherd looks. But the only thing that's bothering me. Is my big fish mouth. Oh, whoa. Oh yeah, that's the default now. So if I go on that, does it just... Can I not change it? It looks like it's my IRL face. This is how I look. Look how pretty I am, chat. Oh, do I have to make it from scratch? Oh, do I need the code? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh. Um. Wow, that's mean. Old woman shepherd. Oh, these are presets, okay. Fuck, can I not change it? Oh, can I not... Can I not edit it in any way? Fuck, that's really annoying. Wow, I really fucked up when I made it. Well, I can't be nice and chill ten minutes all the time. That's true, that's true. I wouldn't expect you to be, to be honest. Oh, can I not change it in any shape or form? That's so annoying. Because I just, I just want to change her mouth. Because it looks funk. 
Oh, it looks funky. I want to make a head a bit smaller, maybe. Oh, I'm kind of fucked with it. Well, oh well. I guess to stick with it. So, Vanguard was a lot of fun. I kind of want to do that again. Weapons and stuff are very different in this game, though. I did miss having Shockwave. We don't have Shockwave, and Shockwave is sick in this game. Oh, does it work like Mass Effect 3? It doesn't, does it? So I might stick to Vanguard here. Yeah, I have Shockwave in this. Okay. Pull for... Yeah, so I'm going to stick with Vanguard. I might change to Adept in Mass Effect 3. You know why? Because it has the fucking charge. Do you know the biotic charge? That move is so sick. I love it so much. Oh, wait. No, wait. I'm, I'm, I clearly can't read. It says it right there. I don't know if biotic charge works exactly the same in Mass Effect 2 as it does in Mass Effect 3. I don't know because I never played it. Yes, it is. Oh, you're right. Shit. What? Your achievements gives you access to the bonus powers? I get flashbang grenade. Is that it? What? What the fuck's the powers thing? Weird. Yeah, I was soldier throughout all the way through free. Oh, uh, yeah, it is. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, this seems good. Oh, that's really annoying. I can't. I swear, Mass Effect um, 2 on the 360, you could edit your face a little bit. So, chat, if you make your character in Mass Effect 1 on the Legendary Collection, um, a Legendary Edition, commit. You are committing to that new to that face. Now I'm going to have weird fish mouth. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready to give her the sedative. Shepard. Don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Still I'll be Vanguard. I enjoy playing Vanguard. In... The uh, Steps in pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dog. Now. Heart rate dropping. Death falling back in the normal Clutch. range. <laughs> Too close. Ah. Oh. Almost lost it. I told you your estimates were off. Get out of the way, pretty lady. Too close. Wesley Hammer. Uh. <laughs> Wake up, it's me. Damn, I look pretty good with my fish mouth. Oh wow. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out I didn't know they added additional scars. Under That's cool. Well, I mean, it would make sense. Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. Whoa, oh, Mass Effect 2 at 60 FPS, chat. In the on the other side of the room. Hurry. Oh, okay. F fair enough, Tenex. That's good. <laughs> Grab the pistol and armor from the locker. You don't have time to wait around, Shepard. Grab your weapon. Oh. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll I can still talk. From... Oh, look. Damn snapping to cover. To feels to good. Cover now. Oh, it Keep feels down, good. Shepard. Holy shit. This glass. is an improvement already. Someone's hacking security trying oh, to kill I've you. never actually... For a thermal clip for your pistol. Does it have an um, extended FOV? Yeah, I think it does a little bit. Yeah, I didn't think of it. I mean, it's still quite close, but it's definitely more excellent. I know you have to Looks mod like the PC version in for extended FOB, because I think Frozen Balls, when he was playing through it on PC, had to do that. No, I don't mind FOB. Your boobs got bigger? What, what really? Oh, yeah, I think they did. Well, to be fair, that's what Bioware did a fair bit, especially in Mass Effect. Keep we need to get to the it kind of got ridiculous. The sex appeal definitely went one like jumped up by like 10 times after one it was really weird big horny bioware oh that feel yeah god this feels great oh my shields are down now i have ammo it's a real shooty, real shoot game. But yeah, the 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 UI is like very similar. Don't waste time. I can't 
for us. They changed so much in two. Uh, in one, sorry. From the original one, I mean. More reinforcements heading your Pick up the grenade launcher. The it's like a disc. Use the grenade. Yeah, so special weapons. Yeah, that was a thing. Did I get him? Take the elevator down yep. one floor. I do like the special weapons thing. You knew what Cerberus wanted to focus on the most. They were like, damn, Commander Shepard talk. Focus on that bit. Who is it created by? A man. Shocker. Okay. Whoa. Oh, ow. Hey, I don't have to do that stupid quick time press these four buttons thing ever again. Yeah, that's big money so to keep me alive. Seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all There is a new hacking mini game though. I always remember that one. I think there's two. Like the subtitle stayed on there when I was walking away so I could read it. Um, hi! Hey buddy! Behind you! Oh shit. R No, she's super creepy. Miranda's really creepy. Commander Shepard is not human enough. He needs it. Need the hourglass shape, big boob and butt for saving humanity. Gotta give her, yeah. This is what she deserves. She's not marketable enough. <laughs> is this says Cerberus or says Bioware? Hey, Jacob. Are you with Miranda? Yeah. Who are you? Sorry. Are you better? I new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! You might be. Things must be worse than I thought. If Miranda's got you running around. All right, I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Yeah, I feel pretty good. I came out of a near-death experience, a very, very near-death experience. I'm shooting guns and all kinds of shit. Uh, What's with the mechs? Security. Usually they fight for us. You should probably Somebody not have time to. Them. That should be impossible. Yeah, they can't aim like stormtroopers. Got gotta get you out. Yeah, they're here, like, Shepard. why are they talking? It's your station, Jacob. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. We're low on thermal clips. Oh, it's annoying me that I can change my face. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. I'd have to recreate the face. That's annoying. I might do it with time. I'm not going to do that on stream though. Select pull. Use pull. Pull's new, isn't it? I don't, think, I don't think you have pull at all in Mass Effect 1. My battery levels low. That was bad. Ready to get the hell off this station? Uh, yeah, I've got questions we go now. Anywhere. I need some answers. Sure. What do you want to know? I, let's get out of here. You said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have the put you in a coffin. The lighting's definitely a bit better. But than Project it used Lazarus to be. was different. Cutting edge technology. More like a very full, full death. Yeah, I guess it was. Yeah, I don't think near death experience really covers it. What do you mean, cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty yeah, I'm like, sure I'm like Raiden in they Metal Gear Rising. They want back exactly as you were. My brain's the only real bit. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. Yeah. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. It's so, it's so ridiculous. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant. But I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. 
Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it, what they're after? They're after me. Dan Fino. I was getting ready for some shut-eye. Then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Bam. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm I think guessing me it had is... to be an inside job. Yeah. You need I think me is a very obvious like conclusion. It doesn't take a mastermind to figure that shit out. Yeah. When I first woke up, it's it's bullshit. Miranda I don't know how they did it. Off screen is what well. <laughs> the excuse is. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? Also, re re in your if you're in the chat, I got your message. Was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She oh, we lost Miranda. Ass is dead, chat. Rip. I hope she's okay. Yeah, what's the last going thing on? Yeah. I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks did it. human out. organic Navigator gel Presley suit. was killed by an explosion. <laughs> but everyone else, <laughs> including the Non Alliance crew, the Asari, oh. Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Woo! Good shit. Wait, hold on. Where's Garrus? <laughs> Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. Oh, Garrus went back years. to CSEC. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. Want to find them. They were my team. Oh. If they knew I was alive. Maybe you they... can track them down after we get off the that station. That was weird. I think if the hard drive the struggled station. to load the line there. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we check. check. Not stood here talking. Anyone on this frequency? <laughs> Anybody still so alive sore. out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? Yep. Hi. Never mind. You need to get her out of there. And I'm a bet the I'm a crack shot compared to all control. you guys. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on Fucking this Bumble Kings over at Cerberus facilities. I, think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Oh, there's a bunch of scientists, really. Isn't Service it? tunnels are this way. All right, let's go. New squad. Systems active. Damn it, Wilson. This is the Tell you what. Everything looks really clean in this version. Like, even Mass Effect 2 just in general. I, I guess it is a lab, but like, everything looks really pristine. Like the... Uh, I would say the anti aliasing is actually a lot better in 2 than it is in 1. There's a lot less jaggies in, um, in this. Like, I don't know if... Because they AI upscaled textures and stuff. I don't know if Mass Effect, um, well, no, they did do some in 2, actually. I did hear that they did some in 2. But this looks, like, way less jaggy. Like, it is a lot. It, it does feel better looking than 2 did. Uh, than 1. Like, and I know that's a crazy thing to say, but I just think maybe it just upscales better. Physical reconstruction of subject is complete, but we looks still need to evaluate all mental and neurological functions. <laughs> That's a great recipe for making a big mess without having anything that look even remotely human. Just like, you know. I like human Shepherd, gel goo. Down here. Oh, hey Wilson, what's up? Bastards got me in the leg. I remember you. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some meta gel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the meta gel from the first aid station on the wall. Got it. Select Unity. There we go. Oh yeah, that has. Thanks, Shepard. Oh yeah, Unity uses meta gel now. You'd save my Not life. just an ability. Yeah, this that's what way it makes us even now. Hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mix, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? 
I came here to try and fix this. Someone wants Besides, me. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? I don't trust any of you, You're you guys. You're all strangers guys. to me. Let's get someplace <laughs> safe and then we'll sort out who's fault <laughs> The handler is. is pretty good. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead or she's I didn't a traitor. Skip that chat. It felt like I skipped it. Um. You tried to help me. Then why didn't she wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. <laughs> wow, you went back on that really quick. We're here. She's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. Heads up. We can overload the oh, he actually says us. I didn't remember him doing that. These mechs don't know when to quit. I could use overload on the crates if I had absolutely destroyed them before. I guess you just need to do it anyway. Overload. Oh, sorry, Jacob. You're a bit Let's close there, buddy. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? Uh, this really isn't the time, Jacob. It really isn't. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's <laughs> your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. That's bullshit. Never heard of them. That's super bullshit. I wiped out my share of Cerberus projects when I was a Yep, Spectre. I super did. Back then they were trying to kill me. Why the change of heart? Those answers are way above my pay grade. But basically, things change. The Alliance declared you dead. You on a ball and chain, kind of. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. You didn't He'll tell me everything. everything. I promise. Elusive man. Is he in charge of it's all like this? It's like so yeah. ominous. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really oh, is. Oh, we must find out with the elusive, the man, elusive man's name. I don't even remember stuck. what he's called. <laughs> well, if I won't get any more answers here, let's get moving. Yep. It's not much farther to the shuttle bay. Hey. My weird, like, saunty jaunt. Mass Effect 2 jaunt. Where did Joe recover? Uh, I assume everything's quite linear in this bit. Sure, Mass Effect 2 is a bit more linear than 1 is anyway. Hey, guys! <laughs> Oh yeah, I've got to press A to get to cover. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Yo, that's pretty good! <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> this is really goofy! I do appreciate the new book. Oh, God damn it, Tenox. Have I fixed it? Oh, I fixed it. Boo! <laughs> That was a really goofy bug. Do you enjoy the fish mouth, Tenos? Do you enjoy my big lady fish mouth? Wait, hold on. Oh, it is the same! Okay, I thought only Mass Effect 3 had that move. Oh, I don't care now. Oh, I can't do it. You need to charge. Wait, can I do it now? Can I do it now? No, 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 I can't. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I almost did. Oh, the melee is still shitty. Damn it. It's Mass Effect 3 that adds the big, cool, cinematic smash. That, mo that move's sick. I love that. That's such a good addition. It's the only time that the melee went from feeling like ass to like feeling pretty good. Like, someone genuinely was like, yeah, it's melee's getting kind of shitty. Oof. That's Tech mean. Subject has been recovered, but the damage is far worse than we initially feared. Oh, turn up, that's to the expected brutal. Oh, I can still hear it, that's cool.
This is such a weird... I always found this one weird as shit. That one's an easy one. It kind of becomes second nature after a while, if I remember right. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I prefer it than the pressing buttons minigame, to be honest. I have to think about it at least a little bit more. Get that door open! Come on, through here. Add We're almost spice. at the... Miranda! Hey Miranda, what's up? Ah! Dead? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> My hey. job. Wilson betrayed us all. Um... That's your idea of due progress? I knew he was lying. He did feel a bit sketch. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Well, yeah, because he had the Met clearance and bullshit. Here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. <laughs> I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. The lighting looks Well, since we're getting better. everything That's out in the open, sure. is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Yeah, the lighting in this one's a lot better. I don't know. I don't remember it being that good in the original. Or at least this good. So this is probably the equivalent of the PC version's high, higher or ultra settings. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. With Where were you during the attack? Legendary Besides edition. Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you when he sent an army of mechs to take me out. Thanks, I got Simmons. here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. <laughs> Get wrecked. Thanks, Simmons. I didn't, I, I, thank you, buddy. I didn't know you were actually like, I didn't check this time. Thank you, buddy. Have a good night. Um, oh, wait. Actually, just before you head off, how was your stream, bud? What, what were you playing today? Let's have a look. See, I like doing the bump because I can also do it to cement and then see what the hell he was playing today. Oh, he's playing Friday. The, uh, which is Security Breach? Is that the first one? I, I ain't got a bloody clue which Friday, Five Nights at Friday, Freddy's game it is. That might be the new one, actually. I don't know. I don't know anything about Five Nights at Freddy's chat. Yeah, it's the new flashy one. Yeah, I think I remember seeing it advertised. Has it just come out? There's so many. Yeah, I'm not crazy. <laughs> I thought that was. I knew there was like three. They're easy. Well, they were really easy to make, weren't they? The first one, like, it's not that much. I don't know if it was FMVs. I don't even know kind of how that get. I, I haven't seen much of it. It's just never really appealed to me. Though the new one's got more stuff going on. I only saw the first one. Anyway. Where are we going? Yeah, where are we off? Another Cerberus facility. Another. The elusive man is waiting for you there. And if I do it? I'm sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Wow. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. She was clearly made off someone's real face, right? She just looks like a real person. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. <laughs> or two, in your case. Uh -huh. Come on. Came out Friday? First ton of fun? Oh, I'm glad. I know there was like a free room, well, like a walking around section and stuff from the trailer. I think I saw when it was just like, uh, I don't know, not a Nintendo Direct, but like a Sony one or Microsoft one. Before you meet with the elusive yeah, man, we need maybe. to ask a few questions to I honestly don't know much. Condition. Come on, Miranda, more tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. Yeah, I really did. The elusive did. man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Ah, yes. Recap. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years oh, and God. 12 days. 
notification. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Wait, really, Tony? Tough environment, no parents. Never knew that. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Yeah! Do you remember that? I do. We're done here, I had to win. Wait, why? Okay. A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning oh, facility. Yeah. You had to leave one of your squad oh, behind rip. to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Alenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? Uh... I left a friend to die that day and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. So we went for Caden the squad, gave then. his life for the rest of the team. Yeah. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander, and I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are Thank other you. tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Okay. Oh, I think I accidentally... Fuck me. I pressed X again. The elusive man is waiting to... for you in the other room. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. Wait, what's my renegade? Oh, yeah, because I said, yeah, no, I didn't trust him. To be fair, it's barely renegade. I didn't trust that guy. Um. Oh, shit, I forgot. I was going to say something about one of my choices. Oh, yeah. Um. To be fair, uh... Ashley, there we go. Wow, her brain just, uh, my, her name just went out of my brain. Ashley was with a squad. Uh, when the, uh, the commander died part of that squad, so we did actually go for the many. Whereas Caden was on his own. So we did, like, you know. Like, it, it, it's very save Ashley, save Caden. But if you're saving Ashley, you're kind of saving the squad too, unless the squad is totally dead. But. I didn't think it was, so you are technically going for the majority there. It was originally making this weird game. Okay. Oh wow, that's weird. That's a weird, that's a weird thing to do. It's like he threw his teddy out the pram and then made a really popular series out of it. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. Oh, okay. Because he's turning turn into a prissy bitch. Oh, Shepard's doing that weird thing again. Why she always looks like she's looking at the floor. I always remember that in Mass Effect 2. This shit was always cool. This is always artistically really cool looking. Commander Shepard. Hey, me. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual. They stay like who know what more than two know. meters distance. He doesn't want the COVID. Uh, like look up Chipper and Sons Lumber Co. That was a game he was talking about. Oh, okay. You might be the reason I'm still alive, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You need to put your personal feelings aside. Humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. Uh, yes, How are you no. feeling? <laughs> I'll not be a jerk. Weird that the Renegade one is like responding with not bad. I guess because Paragon's like, yeah, because he's a jerk at the end of the day. I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to keep you <laughs> as intact as possible. We need Shepard, just as you were when you Whoa, defeated Sun. What happened to the firm, right? What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. 
No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire uh, some of this pre-rendered and some of it isn't. Human what the fuck? We really believe weird. it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth ate its sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Yeah, I think some of that. I think some of that was pre-rendered, and some of it wasn't. Weird. Uh, Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us no, out, no. Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more Just human staring at me. will be left. It is very obvious, though. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say so this that is the fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. You'd know if there was a fucking Reaper ship around. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Oh, shit. We're committed. If, if we wait for politicians or the Alliance I didn't mean to, to do that. No more human colonies. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know yeah, if the Reapers true. understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Do I have a choice yet? <laughs> Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda no. did exactly what I expected of her. One exactly best he agent, saved your life right. in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. How You'll could just anyone trust you? For now. You won't even tell them your name. Is this a volunteer job or am I being volunteered? You <laughs> always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find okay. any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonists? I think it's like do a Mars planet, if I remember right. I've yeah, brought a long time since I played this. It's up to you to do the rest. I can't remember when I played. Did I play Mass Effect 2 close to release? I think. I don't think I played it on release, because again, I was younger. I didn't have the money. I think I played it a few months after when it dropped in price a bit. But I definitely didn't wait on it as much as Mass Effect 3. I remember Mass Effect 3, I waited on for a long time before I picked it up. Played a lot of that multiplayer though. Wish that was the in here. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Thanks for resurrecting me. Just remember who's in charge. I'll do my best. I don't know. I don't know if she sounds jealous. I'll say thanks. I oh my god. Chance to say how much oh I my god, my face. I hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. That was weird. Shepard, don't do that again. Oh, I need to change this face, chat. I'm gonna have to do it off stream. It's throwing my head in. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. Yeah, because when she most respect for your changes abilities, her mouth Shepard, movements, it just doesn't look natural. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Oh, I missed the multiplayer. Uh, Mass Effect 3's multiplayer, like the wave mode, was like really fun. What can you tell me about this colony? I played a bit of Andromeda's to... on PC Freedom's actually. Progress? It's very it's a typical similar. human settlement in the Terminus system. Andromeda's is They had a small military force for protection good. supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. <laughs> I'd 
I'd like to know more about the Lazarus project Can and I the person in charge. On the, I wasn't in charge. Well, the on the ship we was. get? If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. Oh. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. Thanks, Miranda, he asshole. Let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. <laughs> I'm glad he was in like charge. The idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Fuck you, Miranda. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I want him more than a resume. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. Yep. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Wow. Focused on the Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. Kick her off. Old enough to know this is what I wanted. Huh. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. <laughs> We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Oh my god, fuck you. <laughs> I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just agreed to work with him. I still don't trust him. Do you yep. trust me, Commander? I haven't made up my mind about you yet. <laughs> At least you're giving me a chance. Most Alliance soldiers I hate think Cerberus that is the on principle. Normal person's response to that. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called so Freedom's I mean, Progress. I don't play full paragraph. Don't know much else. Yeah. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you like, I mean, I know alliance. I can trust certain people, Five years but... Total. Nah, fuck off. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. I'm also we realizing free that from my... Restrictions and rules. <laughs> my was still webcam just took to up his entire cruiser. head. I finally just gave up. Whoops. Jacob and the Alliance. Jacob joining Cerberus. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Oh, shit. Even spent a couple of years as that. a Corsair. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change Epic after the attack shot. on the Citadel. The old council was dead, and humanity took control of the new one. But nothing changed. Politics, so they have to change it bureaucracy, that. Oh, cool. same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. Yeah, no pencil pushes, says Jacob. Okay. That's all for now. Talk about, talk yes, to you later, buddy. I don't even know what happens to Jacob in free. Why don't they swap him out? Renegade action. Oh, there we go. Hey, import bonuses. You see the following bonuses uh, for importing a level 51 character into Mass Effect 2. Oh. You start at level 3? Oh, that's weird. Didn't they do that? Oh, I appreciate you getting, like, you know, all the currency bullshit. That's nice. There we go. Oh yeah, I get all these Mass Effect 2 loading screens now. I always like these ones. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. So yeah, we got like this you is almost like the, the first main mission before we start, you know, getting back into free roaming or like it gets a bit more open, let's say. Not free roam. Free roam wasn't what I wanted to say. That's... What did you find at the other colonies? I don't Nothing. know where the other colonies. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of I can't remember what the collectors do to people. I forget. They just disappear. We've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. Good. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Yes, Maybe find clues before I got somebody it. else disturbs the scene. Someone could still be alive. Our first priority is to look for survivors. 
That's unlikely, Commander. But no know. one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. I'm wondering if I should have changed the web camera thing because I'm looking at how many times we're in cutscenes and the camera angle changes like, oh shit, my face covers someone else's face. Yeah, I don't know about webcam placement. Not much you can do. I might make it a bit smaller. I am, I'm tempted a little bit. I think it's because I'm keeping the kind of aspect ratio a little bit. But I am tempted to cut out this, this bit of the camera chat where my arm is. I feel like it just takes up no room. Uh, like it just takes up room. I know I put pushes normally in that corner, but I don't know. It's kind of fine for now, but obviously sometimes having more space is nice. Apologies like about sniff up. Left right in the middle of dinner. Still got bunged up nose. A little bit. It's not too bad though. It's not been bothering me during the stream, and that's the main thing. I remember these assets. Strange. <laughs> these are in the no uh, bodies, no structural damage. Mass Effect no uh, free multiplayer. Play any of that, Tenux? Ow, ow, ow. Strange. Systems were disabled at the other call. I would happily play that, especially if it was on this version. Yeah. Shoot them before they take out your shield. Right, I gotta remember I'm like starting at a lower level now. The people will do damage. Oh, okay. Those mechs should have been hostile. Bye. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. A twist. Derpy robot doggers. You're not wrong. They are a bit goofy. We've got to get an enemy that runs at us. Make it a dog. Make it look really goofy. Not even like cute robot dogs. Just goofy. Shit. Oh, I don't know which one this is. Oh, what? Oh, if you fail to hack it, is that it? Shit. Okay, I need to get better at this minigame. That's... Oh, I don't like that. They've seen us. Oh, bollocks. I've got him. They got rid of that in Mass Effect 1's Legendary Edition. Can't do it. Can't attempt it again. Shit. That's very annoying. Well, they are more like barrel barrels with legs. No. Oh, right Praza, you said you'd let me tally. Oh, I forgot you got Wait. tally this early. Shepard, I'm the not fuck? taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down. It's me. Shepard, is that you're alive? It's me. Cerberus rebuilt yeah, me, go. Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing. Yeah, here. why are Quarians here? Weapons down, Prada. Also, other Quarians. Going on here, I don't think we need another fight. I don't think you see one in one. One of our at people all. was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous and crowds. God, I'm shocked you find she Tally so quick. He was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Hey, Timo. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We he should work he together to find too. him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't <laughs> follow orders, go wait on the ship. Yeah. Head for the get warehouse told. through the center of the colony. 
We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear Yeah, why do you hate Cerberus? Your people really Stupid don't question. like Cerberus. What did but. I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, oh. and tried to blow up one of our ships. Fair. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. Shut up, Miranda. We can argue <laughs> over who killed who later. Yes. Right now, we've Thank got you, a Jacob. job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Uh, Make what? sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Looks like a hard ass now. Yeah, you see the change is more apparent actually when Be you swap from Shepherd. one game to There's the next straight away. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I do. That's why hey, I said Phoenix. it's a stupid question. Because it's like. Nice Fucking hell. Do you get it? Is it dead? But it's more like. I, I kind of just do it for extra information, to be perfectly honest. Oh, yeah, I can just match this shit, can't I? Oh, wow, okay. Way easier than I remember. Oh, that's way, way easier. Use overload on them. That's true. Ow. Just the feel of the guns also just sounds better. All the sound effects and stuff of shooting are great. See that one over there. Shepard, Rosa and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away well, before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. Time to save Tally. Oh yeah, I got a pointer now. This way. Oh. Okay, so I can just push up. A just locks me to cover, doesn't it? Oh, sorry, X does. But I can actually push up to the object as well. I can't crouch in this game, can I? Yeah, uh, L1 does the same thing as R. Um, oh, L3 does the same as R3. One left! I got no shot! I'm taking a lot of damage. Can I not use that? Map power to L1. Flashbang grenade. Yes, you have to hold it. Why is it not? Okay, it's not mapping the thing I want it to. Nice. One left. Oh, well. yeah. I'll figure it out. Later. Hurry, Shepard. We are inside the loading docks. Vitor reprogrammed the heavy mech. It's tearing Fraza's squad apart. Come in, I'm coming. They did want to get to Vito first. Oh, I can get climb out the climb over stuff. That's so nice. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Right. I never use this. Understood. Grabbing cover. Going to cover. It's cool though. I Take actually point, use Shepherd. this a bit on Connect because on the 360 version, you could issue some of your squad commands through the Connect voice sensor, or the Connect microphone, and it actually works. Shockingly. Ah! Oh, <laughs> so much for the Florians. Get a shot, Tally. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is going to be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> it's the Weimer mech. <laughs> it's a goofy dog helmet. No, I actually don't want to do that. Oh wow, it did like the it was. That's annoying. Oh, I need. Oh, I don't want to chop them. 
I might die because of that. Yeah, fuck. I made a cock up. Ah, oh, silly. That was silly. I shouldn't have died from that. I gotta remember to stay way more in cover because this is. A, I'm playing it like I was playing in any game back in the man. I'm just running around like a tit. Being like, no, I can't kill me. That's what got me killed. Right? I'm going from what? Like 51 to level. Three? On oh, level four? Level three, I think. I got it turned! Oh, I didn't need to do that myself. Wow, I just took a rocket to the face and I was fine with it. Oh, that's just a machine gun. Right. Oh, it's also really good. Ow. Yo, that submachine is great. Yes. Where does team want me to go? This looks interesting. There we go. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. What are you doing, no crazy Vito? No, 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 no. Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Okay. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Aragon, Swarms coming. Oh. Yeah, I forgot about these. I only remember the renegade one for punching the interviewer. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. We weren't here. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see, but I see everything. Okay. Oh, it's all on camera. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. Yeah, when what he was the in hell this is crazy that? state. My god. I think it's a collector. Yeah. What the shit? Is that some kind of alien? There are species <laughs> from somewhere beyond the Omega 4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what off. happened to the colonies. Yeah, just throw him in there. The collectors oh, it's have those weird technology. tombs with like have a weapon that around the oh, entire not, settlement not at nice. once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the yeah, monsters take creepy. you away. Horrible. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. <laughs> I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. Yep. Thanks, Vito. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Oh. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the core and call the shuttle to come pick us up. Oh, it's ours. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give uh, him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. Um, Vitor goes with Tally. Vito has to come with us. Join us. Come on, Tali. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive. Well, I'm and not with Cerberus. Cer well, I, I, I happen to kind of be with Cerberus. Now. I've got a mission of my own. That's true. I can't walk away from that. 
Not even for you. Okay. You know what? Yeah. He's take traumatized him. and he needs medical care. He does. Tally will give us the Omni tool data and take him to the flotilla. He'll just understood, fucking, Commander. His brain will just Thank you, blow up. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. I am. Good luck out there. I'm the if one with the balls in this can help department. You, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickups. Uh -huh. Collectors are freaky as fuck. Is that it? Is that the first Shepard, mission? Good <laughs> work on freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. What's going on with the flaw? Having friends pay You ever off? think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already <laughs> perceives you. I've tried not being a but dick. more importantly, you confirm the collectors are behind the abductions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you don't do seem I get the feeling bothered. you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically yeah. travel to the terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Huh. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has oh, ever returned. Oh, yeah, I remember Our this. best guess is that the relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Yeah, because you got to get your ship ready for it, if I remember right. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? Where did I go? They're agents for the Reapers. It could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, yeah, why not just kill them? So I'm assuming collectors are humans? I can't remember. What are the collectors getting been from a while. these deals? Been a while. The collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens. And then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before. And the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens okay. of thousands. Tenex, remind me. Is there a collector character in two? There is, isn't there? Or am I crazy? Is it not a character? It's not a character, is it? Oh, I'm so lost. I man, I don't remember. You're holding something back. How do you know the You're Reapers more vague are involved? On the mid the section of two than I remember. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper yeah. threat died with Sovereign. Yeah, no, you and very I know hazy. Better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you. Yeah, two thousand ten. Be ready. Yeah. So yeah, it was two thousand ten since all. Yeah, so it has been like almost eleven years since I played Mass Effect two. I had a good team. I'm a spe. I'm a spectre. Oh, I don't think I'm a spectre anymore. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. They've all fucked off. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on. Or their allegiances have changed. Oh shit! Okay, cool. Uh, I do want to know about this. Where's Ashley Williams? Where's Ashley? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot? Oh yeah, Rex? where's Rex? Because he, he died in my to original. Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Cool. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. 
Where's Liara Tassoni? She's, Tissoni? Was, she's, she's on Ilium. My sources Ilium. say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. Oh, she is, yeah. If so, she can't be trusted. Oh, yeah, because Lair of the Shadow Broker DLC is in this game, and it's awesome. I remember that DLC being fantastic. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able oh, to Oh, so he's not with CSEC right now. Okay, I get it. They're not available. So You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Yeah, I've got to convince Udina. You've been Fuck. gone a long time. Things have changed. Uh, you worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Okay. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. Oh, He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Fuck Our yeah. Our intelligence suggests Morden's you may know awesome. how to counteract the collector's paralyzing seeker swarms. Sounds good. And what else? Yes. I found a pilot I think Morden you might like. Morden is phenomenal. I hear what a good character. Someone you can trust. Yeah, I forgot. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? Hi. I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. Got a lot of strings. Yo, that must be weird as shit for him to here. see Shepard right now. It all now. fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Big council just wanted to go on his shoulder. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. Do you really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. Oh, yeah. They only told me last night. Brand spanking new. Mwah. Good shit. A brand fancy new shit. I like the, I love the layout. Oh, and it's got Kelly. Tenux has got Kelly. <laughs> Do you remember Kelly, Tenux? I remember Kelly. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Rebirth. Rebirth. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I named my PS, I think I named my PS3, because you can name your consoles in the same. I think my PS3 is called Anime Box, um, it's called like Anime Box or something, and then I named like the PS4 Anime Box 2.0. Then I'm pretty sure my PS5 is named Anime Box 3.0. So silly. Because I originally used it for a lot of Blu-ray animes, so it just made... I don't know why I just wanted to call it Anime Box. Hey. There we go. Does it shove us straight into the next mi mission? I don't know if it does, because I might uh, finish up here today, chat. Let's see, let's see. I might actually let us move around a bit. The one thing I really like, actually, because I was a 360 player, um, since the Legendary Collection is two Blu-rays, it's two. It's a two-disc game because it's that big. It's cool because I liked the one thing I liked about the 360 version was since obviously it was too big for the discs. Those games were also two discs on the Welcome 360. Welcome aboard the New Normandy, Commander. You did have to swap halfway through the game or at certain points, though. I've been looking over the dossiers. I always made me feel like I'd be starting game. by acquiring Morden Solus. Never bothered me as much as it bothers on Omega. We know the collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. Same with Mass Effect 3. We need to develop a countermeasure to protect us. The Mass Effect 3, you swap the discs actually more often than um. Two. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems oh, like yeah, the most logical gear. place to start. Oh, and I could change my gear. I am the Edie. artificial intelligence. Yeah. Who would like to refer to me as Edie? Joker won't like this, except in Mass Effect 3 when he super will. 
Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the That's electronic cool warfare shot. and cyber warfare suites. It is great. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. The time to assemble our team. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're Ass. ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find Didn't us if you have any questions. Cheers, bro. Galaxy map. Oh, it's Kelly. Yeah. Oh, now I've got my little office as well. My little private terminal. Read all my emails. Armory. Oh, and there's the, um, the outfit customization. The decks, so we could put in a normal loading screen instead of a lift loading screen in the original. There, there, that's what I wanted. You can change all the tints and some of the materials and stuff. I should really like that. And then the ship upgrades later, I believe. Welcome aboard, Commander. You man chambers. Wait, wait, what? I thought it was just called Kelly. Hold on. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Oh, okay. I've Middle been name. assigned as your administrative assistant. Yo, what up? I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say. It's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. Pleasure is mine. Glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Sure. Oh, no! <laughs> Anything else? Wait, what the fuck was that? Stop checking me out, you weirdo. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Uh, uh what do you do? What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Is that all? Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, yeoman. I observe the crew. Actually heard that. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. Oh, we don't know. It's I'm a good at suicide mission, yeah. Taxed. Counselor? You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. Good you're here. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? Uh, what do you think this of Cerberus? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advanced human technology. Okay, sidetracked here, chat, because I was going to end soon. <laughs> The Cerberus hate aliens. You know what? Fuck it. It sounds like Cerberus I'll just keep, wants to I'll, I'll just keep doing this bit. aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. You're very loving. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? <laughs> That's so cheesy. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How Did do you I read feel? the back of the box? Jesus. Oh, exhilarated. Terrified. <laughs> but mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. We won't. Don't worry. We'll defeat the collectors. I trust you implicitly. <laughs> oh, it's so the cheesy. I, you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. That's really good. Oi, Liara's not here, so fuck it. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now, oh my god. Oh my god. Like it's about? so strong so quickly. Oh, there you go. Okay. That's ridiculous. Maybe we'll talk later. That's ridiculous. It's so quick. <laughs> That's so goofy. Holy shit, I remembered that loaded fast when you installed the disk to your hard drive, but that was crazy. I'm not even playing on SSD. I can talk from Edie from here. Edie, don't watch me while I'm showering. <gasps> Space hamster. Fuck, he's not here. 
I don't get space hamster yet. But I get the toilet though. Oh, oh. Right, 30 FPS reflections. Ignore that. I think you can. I think. You can feed the fish when you buy more fish. I remember that. Yeah, and now I can spend all day doing this shit. Oh, cool. I remember getting this gear. Wait, what? Oh, this must be a DLC. I don't remember this. That's cool. I remember this. Remember this fucking dapper ass dress. That just makes me look like a generic, generic man. That's nice. I think I kept the main outfit throughout most of it. But yeah, this is... Definitely don't remember this. Casual ass look. Do I have the different types yet? Oh, maybe they're like... Oh, uh, maybe they're in the... Um, uh, later on. What the fuck is that? That was weird. Oh, maybe, maybe they've integrated some of the DLC into the shops. It looks like they have. I like that. I like with the shine. Okay. Well, chat. I think that was a fun one-off for today. I enjoyed that. Did you enjoy that? I hope you did. Uh, I know it's been all, uh, it's been a bit quieter, but um, yeah. Like the Tedux outfit. Oh, the fucking like casual ass, the casual ass like hoodie and stuff. Yeah, that's that's good. Like I'm sure they, they surely they made some. Like, real ones of those. I saw stuff on, like, you know, some people are doing prints and stuff, but, like, surely they made official ones of those hoodies. Seems like a no-brainer thing to do, especially with EA's marketing. But, yeah, um, chat, that was, uh, that was some Mass Effect, uh, 2 and 1, and the ending of 1. Uh, oh, my God, that, the saving feels, like, way nicer, because it, you don't have to wait for it. And it doesn't skip, like Mass Effect 1 does. Um... But yeah, um, if you'd like to see this, uh, you can check out the Discord there. If you'd like to, if you enjoyed seeing this, drop me a PM. Maybe I'll do a bit more of this. Like I don't, I don't mind. Though I do want to put pretty much mostly play this off stream. It's a long series. I didn't actually plan to do all three on stream. I did plan to play a lot of these off. Uh, but yeah, next time we'll be going back. Uh, next time we uh, come back to the stream. Uh, it will probably be Wednesday. I'm going to say Wednesday for sure. If I do decide to stream Monday, I'll let you guys know over on the Discord with a little at message in the announcements page. But yeah, thank you for joining me for Mass Effect. And uh, I know, like I said, no, it was a bit different, but I did really want to play it today. And I feel like I've got a good chunk done because I've at least started the second game. So that's always good. But yeah, next time we'll be back with wherever my coffee has gone. I don't actually know where I put it. Oh, here it is. Next time when we come back, we'll be going back to Scarlet Nexus. Ta -da. So, yeah, we'll probably be heading back to that this week, and then I'll be taking the Christmas break. Uh, but hopefully I'll catch you then. Uh, we'll be discovering more of our... the crazy moon people, like the people who survived on the moon. So there's, there's kind of more space in this, kind of. Uh, so, yeah, we'll be going back to that. And, uh, yes, the poll will still be live. It'll be going over Christmas as well. I'll remind you guys when it's about to close soon um uh, on the discord as well and i'll be interested to see if it if anyone actually votes once more to see which becomes the most popular one and like i said i'll probably go through the original uh, the others eventually um also since i've been ill just before i go uh i said i'm gonna be on vr chat and pinging you guys on the discord uh if you guys want to join me for vr chat sometime uh, Tenox, I know you were busy or it was quite late because I still had to go eat food after the last stream I said I was going to do it. Uh, since I've been a bit ill, <laughs> I sound a lot better. My throat was a little bit... Uh, you could, I don't know if you've noticed, chat. My throat's been a little bit wobbly this stream. Not too bad, though. Because um, it was really bad the other day. Um, but yeah, uh, I haven't been on my VR headset at all. And it's been... I, I got, like, a finally a new cable. Like, I got... The cable came, it was too short, I had to send it back, and I got a new cable, and this cable's, like, super long, it's way better. Um, but I haven't tested it at all, because I'm like, I don't want to be ill with a cold on my headset, fuck that, I don't want to do that. So, it's been, I've been dying to get on it, and as well test it for maybe future streams, but I haven't been able to do that. 
but I'll be doing that in the future. But I know I'm going to raid tonight because, you know, Tenux, you're going to head over to them anyway, probably. We're going to go and say hello to Kukunoi because I want to. Uh, I want to see how far she's got on Zelda. I am kind of mind blown that I thought she'd finish it by now, but I think she's been incredibly busy and I want to see if she's alright. So we're going to send you over to her stream tonight. Uh, it also gives me, it also makes, like, I've got, I can quickly do it as well. I also sent you guys over to, um, uh, I, I sent you guys over to Frozen Balls last time and he ended the moment I hit raid, so that was awkward. So yeah, sorry about that guys. Um, today's raid message is going to be... Actually, let me hit play and make sure she's not going to... You like, know what I mean. Not going to end soon, is she? So I now have a profile that I can do with... Oh no, no, she's there. She's sorting out something to do with Pokemon Nuzlocke chat. Uh, we're going to use... I'm... We're gonna, I know I know exactly what I want to say in this raid message. Okay, so today's raid message is... Today's, today's raid message is... I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite raid on Switch. Tenux... Before I go, I made some unique... I don't know why I made unique fucking alerts for this stream, because I didn't see them at all. But I'm going to play the follow one just before you go, because it's really funny. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite stream from the Citadel. <laughs> it's literally, I cut my own voice to say stream. Oh, I fucking had so much fun doing that, and I'm so gutted that I wasn't able to use it. I did way too much, because I just... Did it, and this is a fucking one-off. But anyway, chat, go say hello to Kukunoi. Have a good night. I will catch you guys on Tuesday or Wednesday, probably Wednesday. And yeah, I'll see you then. Bye.